two, one. What's going on? Welcome everyone to the Nyan K. My name is Tom. This guy over here is Clay. Today, we're playing Ace Attorney, and we're picking up right where Clay left off, and I have no idea where we are. No, oh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> Surprising, I know. Maya's been kidnapped. Not again! Yep. By the police? No. Oh. By a bad man. By a bad man? By the killer. By the killer? Yeah. I know, the killer. Oh. What's his name? His name? The killer. Oh. Yeah, he's the killer. The killer? The killer? Yeah, he's the killer. No. I don't way. know if he's the killer, but he's, but the, he's the, the killer. But he is the killer, yeah. Might not Deca, be his real name. Dr. Iller? Dick Iller. Is it Dr. Iller? No, it's Dick Iller. Dick Killer. Dick Killer. Dick Iller. Ah, um, mm. The wrong stream and the wrong chat. Why? Well, the other one should say it starts in like 20 days. 20? Is it, uh, is, it, uh, is it public? Yeah, it's a public one for the next one. Well, that's just confusing. Yeah. Well then, hey, so we got it. Maya has been Mothar. kidnapped by the killer. By the killer. Um, the jam and samurai is fucking dead. No. No, the jam and ninja. The jam and ninja. That's what it was. Oh, okay. The jam and ninja. He had a feud with the, uh, with the nickel samurai. Mm -hmm. Totally not the steel samurai. Not the steel don't, samurai. Don't, do don't, not, don't original don't, character. Do not steal. steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and the nickel samurai got an award because he's the best ever. The best oh, that wow. ever was. Hey, Cyril, what up? Look hey, oh, nice to see you. hey, hi, Nocho. Hi, 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 hi. Well, then we're caught up. Ready to Sorry, get into this thing? I got it mixed up. Jam and Ninja, yeah, Jam and Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta beat these characters. The Jam and Ninja. Neandre, can you speak for a second? Yeah, I can speak. No, uh, how's this? Can you leave your thing on and just uh, tell me if... Uh, oh, look at that. It doesn't even pick me up at all. Oh, it does. What? Yeah, Tom, Tom be your excited self. Oh, oh yeah, if we're gonna yell and stuff. Ah! Yeah, of course. There's a bad echo. Let me know if there's an echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta buy some more equipment. I gotta buy some more equipment. Go, go to the equipment store. Three up. voices. Do I sound awful? Do I sound okay? Yeah. You sound good in my head. Yeah, you sound I always good. sound good in your yeah, head. Yeah, there is echo. Spoopy. Echo? What? Yeah, okay. so uh, all I can do is I'll have to manually turn my volume down like this. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. But this is only a temporary solution. Yeah, no, of course. Okay, good. <laughs> Just forever, you have to do that, okay? <laughs> Always okay. Honestly, I, I think it's just easier to do that. And can you uh, fiddle the game on, on Tom's mic a little bit? First of all. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Oh, no, no, I, we'll, I, we'll share, no we're sharing. No, we're sharing now. I'm terrible spatial awareness. This is what you did. This is where you pulled it. Okay. okay. Well, now from that angle, it looks better. But I mean, this this this, this, looks this is the middle. <laughs> it's the worst the middle. of everything. Okay. So uh, I've done as, like, as you've I like, asked. I like fiddling with a mic. I love fiddling with a mic. I do it uh, all the time. Did you the, did you fiddle with our game? Yeah, fiddle with yeah, this. Yeah, I, I moved your game around like you asked. Okay. This is a great stream, right? I know. So how is this? That's oh, it's life. It's life. It's life. It's life. You guys it's are lived. so life. cuddly as well. Look at how close you are. You're best of buds right now. Mm. Mm. Do this. I don't think I gave you permission to touch me. This is this is this is harassment. See if I do this, though, that I get the whole microphone to myself. Who, where's <laughs> HR? Who's HR? Who runs HR? <laughs> I actually do. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, no, it's good. Occasionally, one of you uh, two are a bit quiet, but it's barely a problem. Barely a problem. Well, that's that's difficult. You know what's mm -hmm. nice about this, though, is mm -hmm. that I'll be able to talk this way. I'm probably talking that way. Mm. Yeah, yeah, look at that. You'll have to talk that I'll way. I'll have to talk this way. I'm and right. your quiet it, voices are always <clears throat> the girl voices. It feels, oh. it feels weird. I'm not going to lie. I'm talking this way for some reason. Don't look at me. I don't Yeah, when you yeah, guys... Clay. It kind of so. looks like you guys are going to make homosexual kissing. What? Yeah. What? Well, In you our... make Tom uncomfortable enough to buy an extra mic. <laughs> uh, 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 I sound louder. Uh, uh, I'll just stand. I'll uh, sit uh, farther away from the microphone. There. Now we're all equally far away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you up our game just a little more? Uh, okay. Just a little more. We are sharing Tom, so put it nice and evenly uh, in the okay, middle. I Clay proceeds to insert the whole mic inside his mouth. <laughs> Clay's got a huge mouth. I'm just saying he could if he wanted to. Ready to go? Huge mouth. Yep. Let's get okay. into this thing. Let's see. If, if we're awful, then people will have to tell us. Of course. <clears throat> We're always awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing about us. We're more we're awful than usual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we should we should explain what's happening and the reason this has happened. 
I mm. did. What? Which part? So I'm here now. Oh, yeah. Because I'm the closest that these boys have to a girl. Yay! Wait, you're not? G what do you mean what? closest? I need to explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we had a female AI installed. That was all I knew. Yeah. Uh, what was it? The, the female module uninstalled halfway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, 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 the power crashed. Oh, yeah. This is why it. they always say to back up your data before you, you install updates. There you go. Now we have, but now we have girl voices. That's good. Yeah. Right. So Neandroid's gonna be doing girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Phrasing. Phrasing. Starting with uh, this little one. Uh, oh, oh get no! Out of get, here. This is why we don't give you a mic. <laughs> These thoughts happen all the time, but he didn't literally have a mic. all the time. All my the head. Time. <laughs> I know. And Always. Sometimes you you repair it them. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I just exactly. I, 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 and it comes out of your mouth. You're like, oh no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What's happening? Examine. Examine this little girl. Uh, also, uh, the um, Maya's being held for a ransom. Okay. And the ransom. We're broke. Yeah. The fun. Well, the, here's the funny thing, and here's my my one problem with this story so far. So far. We were like, man, we're totally gonna defend this guy mm. and see what's up. Mm. And then they took Maya hostage, and they're like, we're gonna kill Maya if you don't defend this guy. And, yeah. we were, and we didn't say, like, oh, we're, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Wildly unnecessary. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, sure. Yeah. But they'll fucking kill her if uh, we don't get a not guilty verdict in one day. So oh, Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of aiming for that. I didn't want to spend too much time on this case anyways. Yeah. <laughs> is Charlie okay? Is Charlie okay? Uh, uh, Charlie is Charlie is currently uh, Char Charlie is currently battling Typhoon Pearls. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, I know. There's a terrible Typhoon that rolled into the office. Localized oh. entirely within... Nick's office. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Entirely? Mm -hmm. In this time of year? At uh, this time of year. Can I see? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're going to show Pearl our badge, though. It's going to instill. Oh, we have a, we have a cell phone now? Mm. That's a lawyer's sacred treasure, isn't it? That's really good. I know. Fuck, man. I had nothing close to that. I guess. <laughs> I feel like it has a mysterious power. Just like my Makatama. <clears throat> I'm having a trouble getting into Pearl voice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I can let her think on what she wants. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I guess I can let her think what she wants on this one. Do a little of this. That'll like, loosen <clears throat> up your jaw a bit. Funny story. Uh, Tom and I are always going before stream and stuff. Literally making really stupid noises. Real stupid noise. I hate I hate the L's. I don't have a good L. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. I need to start doing that now. Just gargling the air, basically. Yeah, yeah. Gotta loosen up, loosen your lips. Is that why the streams are late? Sometimes. Sometimes. Man, I don't want to talk about why the streams are late. It's wildly uncomfortable. What? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, they're I'm buying a new mic. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? No. Clay. Clay, talk to me. Talk to me. I don't, don't feel comfortable <laughs> unless I have something long and hard in front of my mouth. Okay. Oh, I understand. I totally get it. Yeah. Man. There, I made the joke so you can't. <laughs> I know. I, can I just, feel I just, it. I, can I just feel like to, coming. I just like to fiddle with long, hard things <laughs> I though. Like to just fiddle. Move them around. I know. Yeah, never, yeah. never touching my mouth. But no, <laughs> but close, 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 close by at all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the know. option? If it was that, you want the option there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and we're demonetized. Have we, have we done these? No, yeah, old. What's back. what? Old bag's back, and she's a fucking alien or a yeah. spaceman. She's oh, back. Oh God. Uh, what about? Hmm. Uh, Will Pearls power. misses Maya a lot right now. Mm, so this will probably it. make her feel better. Oh, Mystic Maya, I wonder if you're alright. See, look how much good it's doing. I'm sure she's okay. We have to be patient for just one more day. I'm sure we can save her. Trust me. If there's anything I can do, please tell me, okay? How about you grow four feet and boobs? Wow, I'd still be like eight years old, pervert. Uh, Not if you were Mia. <laughs> uh, I guess mm. I never thought about it like that. It was it wasn't for any. That's pervert. a monkey's paw wish right there. <laughs> it wasn't for any perverted reasons. I just want to talk to Mia. Mia would know what to do. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Hey, what's going on, Maddie? 
Yeah, there's a lot of good vocal. I'm sure that the Mr. Detective will be <gasps> our ally if we ask. Hey, he's a good guy. Yeah, I think so too. Looking back, we've known each other for a while now. He's always been trustworthy. A bit off, but still trustworthy. <laughs> what a paradox. Let's see, so we've seen uh, Will Powers here. He's a really kind and nice old man, isn't he? Oh. Pearls is really perceptive when it comes to people, because she has a magic stone that tells her when people are lying, but <laughs> that's besides the Don't point. Mean. But what does she mean by old man? Hey, Pearls, what about me? What about you, Mr. Nick? On second thought, I don't think I want to hear this. Hmm. Oh, Lada. Um, there's still so many things in the world I don't understand yet. <laughs> Honestly, I still don't have enough training. I'm still in training, though. <laughs> hey, hey, Canadian creep. Thank you. You like jazz? Do ya? The world must know. I can't uh, say I listen to jazz on my uh, on my own volition. Mm. I, I, I never turn it on myself, but if it's on, I enjoy I'm it. Oh, look at this tune. Oh, nice jazz. Like I, I definitely can't name any jazz artists. Like I know the the style of jazz music. Like I I can hear something be like, oh, it's jazz. Mm. Mm. I can mm. identify it. You can identify. Yeah. Mm. The only jazz I like is DJ Jazzy Jeff. Hey! Bam bam bam. Is that a real jazz artist? Doesn't sound like a jazz artist. DJ, yeah, DJ yeah, Jazzy yeah. Jeff. He's Will Smith's DJ friend. Will Smith. Will Smith. Fine. I don't Jaden Smith. Jazz. Any relation? Fine. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 we need another, another, another FBI train. I don't know FBI train. Um, I don't know. I, I usually just use the, the main page in another tab here. Oh, okay. Just flip Great. Over to it. Yeah. I can do okay. that. Yeah. Oh, you can do that too. That's fine. Or actually, and you know what's funny? Uh, it's it's up here and it's like really that. If you just put that down there and then that up there, um, that's also better. Ah, no, it's okay. I don't have any ideas myself. Thank you so much though, Justin. And uh, yeah, I didn't tell Tom about the FBI trains, but he can see them visibly. Oh, I, I visibly saw. It's like a crater after a nuclear war. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> it's there. It's there. You can't hide it. Ah, no, it's okay. I don't have any ideas myself. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Concordia. Sorry. Corita. <laughs> Thank goodness. This is the victim. I'm really glad that he died. Both, and Clinton and I were both sweating bullets. He's making his one. Thinking who's going who's gonna, to uh, voice this and how to do it unoffensively. Oh, yeah. But uh, fortunately, he's dead. Oh. He won't be oh. talking anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he going to come back just for that. He might know? have flashbacks. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not a lot, a lot of flashbacks. Well, um, there are so many things in this world I don't understand yet. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I still don't have enough training. Oh, fa no, it's okay. I don't have any idea myself. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You just keep showing me stranger. <laughs> Please stop doing this. Who is these strange men? What are you doing to me? <laughs> I don't know why you showed me a picture of a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Oh. So why do we have a walkie-talkie and a 16? Oh, uh, this is how we're communicating with the kidnapping. Nice. And this is our ticket to a press conference that never happened. Nice. Yep. Cool. That was the that was the press conference where uh, the steel, oh, sorry, the nickel samurai was going to uh, uncover some. He was going to confess something. Yeah. His <gasps> confession. He has a confession. Holding a press conference, but it's canceled oh, damn. because of murder. Because of murder, when he then then the kidnapper called and. The, Nickel Samurai Confessions. Oh, present the walkie-talkie just to remind you. Oh. God, it's unnamed. You're a savage. <clears throat> oh. All right, let's actually do something this stream, I think. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, what to do is a good way to start. Yeah. Since there are no psyche locks, then that means we can trust Mr. On Guard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. <laughs> On guard. Ever since last night, I was so worried that I kept wondering, what if he is the real killer? What then? <laughs> Damn. Cold, Pearls. P cold. Cold. Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. I'm an incompetent man, and I need a young eight-year-old girl to remind me what I need to be doing. Mm. Well, okay. What is it? Why are you so interested in Maya and, uh, and how Maya and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special go- <gasps> huh? What do you mean? Oh god. Oh god, we've the said it. The music stopped and it. everything. We've said it. Oh god. 
Oh no. <laughs> But I thought, I thought you and Mystic Maya were... I, I've been mistaken this whole time, no way! No. It's literally been an entire... No, oh, no, she really wasn't kidding. Pearls actually believes Maya and I are... Maybe I should have just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it. Don't hide your true feelings from me. <laughs> She's cracking our psyche locks! Oh, no! Ow! She slapped me! <laughs> Denial. 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 You know? Denial's cute. I didn't know she was Egyptian, but she's in denial. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. Nickel Samurai. Am I going to be her because she's a woman? Yep. Cont okay. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come here in here without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you. What's going on around here? Uh, um... I heard poor Juan was killed, is that true? It's a bad rerun is what it is. Another steel samurai doing most of the evil deeds. Oh god damn it, don't try to pin this on Will Powers. <laughs> um, you know, that's not entirely I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan. Oh my god, of course mm. you were. Why? Oh why? Why do all the stars have interested drop one and one one by one like flies? It's always been that way. Ever since I was a little girl at school, I have a hamster was fine to a cle oh. oh my god, I'm so fast. Queen Reaper, I Queen swear. Reaper. It's really fast. Mm-hmm, I believe it. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> Don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick? I, uh, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Well, she killed her hamster while cleaning the cage and then everyone called her the Queen Reaper. Yeah. And it was probably a big turning point in her life. Mm. Probably. Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky head, smarty pants. You naughty man. I'm gonna shoot you with my gun. Oh, love gun. Oh I mean, my god. So this is old bag now. Yeah, this is old bag. The evolution of old bag. Mm -hmm. Um. The Vic. A ding, and the ting goes crack. Scratch that, 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 I'd watch your words, no one's gonna get away with saying anything about my bad about my moan. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? <gasps> that irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country uh, accent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh it's Lotta. Lotta Lion. <clears throat> I mean, what is that man of speaking supposed to be? Why doesn't she, uh, why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maiden, I was so beautiful, even the flowers and the field blushed. But despite that, I pressed the flowers and read the books. I can't, the things happened. Mm-hmm. Pearls, are you thirsty? <laughs> Odd question. Um, uh, maybe. Also, yeah, if, if, water? You, if you can't, if you can't, because uh, I, I know it's hard to keep up with, just, just ad lib it. Okay. Just run it. Just, just run. run. Just, just run. run. Just run with just wherever, run your mouth. wherever your mind naturally goes with the conversation. <laughs> just fill in the blanks. <laughs> okay. Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, are you paying attention, youngins, today? So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lotta. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Uh. I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. <laughs> getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Okay, so we weren't crazy. Okay. Cue mysterious music for magical press conference. <laughs> or, uh, um, wait. How's the Harry Potter one go? Dun 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 and then, the mysterious magical press conference caressed the hotel lobby with its chairs. 
<laughs> Ever so gently, no. the magical press conference then placed its chairs <laughs> inside the hotel lobby. Get away from my The mic. hotel lobby blushed profusely, its carpets uh, blazing in red. Blazing <laughs> red. <laughs> Answering the age old question Did the carpets match the drapes? <laughs> press conference, son. You have, <laughs> you have so many chairs. <laughs> Uh, there's, for those who don't know the reference, there's a, uh, was a, a an erotic fan fiction between <laughs> a uh, the Harry Potter's like, Hogwarts, the Hogwarts, school. the school yes. itself, yes, and, and, and the tentacle beast that lives in the lake. Oh, was it the tentacle beast? I thought it was I a think tree. It's a giant squid. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it's some sort of squid. It's a giant yeah. squid. Yeah, it's a giant squid. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that one. He yeah. inks in the hallways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, the uh, uh, downward passages. <laughs> anyway. I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, I see. But. But. But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. Oh boy, here we go. What? I saw Justin oh, two dollars. <laughs> hey, Justin, thank you. <coughs> I have a special request from Nanny. Can you say this in the old bag voice? What country are you from? What? What country? Uh, what ain't no country I ever heard of? Oh, it's, it's, no, it's yeah, rush yeah. hour. Do they speak English? What country what? are you from? What? <laughs> what ain't no country I ever heard of? Or what ain't no country I ever heard of? Do they speak English and what? 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 English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> Jeez, youngins these days not speaking my language. I'm one of my favorite... Uh, the, like one of the only moments I remember from Rush Hour was uh, not Rush Hour. Sorry, Pulp Fiction. Oh, it's Pulp Fiction. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's yeah. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush, Rush Hour has Rush, Rush Hour. similar thing. Yeah, Rush Hour, and I think the one you're thinking of is the. Uh, There's no one understand the words that are coming to my mouth. Mm -hmm. Man, nobody understands the words that are coming <laughs> out of your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what you witnessed? <laughs> what? The most important moment. You don't mean. Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. Is this getting erotic? This feels a little erotic. I'll give you a spanking. Oh. When you speak to your elders, you should be sure to always be polite. Really, kids these days. Please, tell me. What did you see? Ooh. Oh, baby. It's the sound of the psyche locks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I meant. Four. My lord. The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Is this a riddle? Please don't stray onto another tangent. Please. Please. If you want to hear more, then show some respect and bring this lady a present. Oh, no. What? That's funny. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's happening? Tasso. <laughs> what? Oh, your old bag is evolving into evolving down. Congratulations! Your old bag has evolved into alien old bag. Jingling goes here. <laughs> no, isn't it? No, it's a. Uh, yeah. Isn't it? Or something like that. I don't know. Play it, Nanny. No, don't worry about it. It's, it's, but it's spelled. Spell it. Jingle goes here. Yeah, but remember when you evolved a Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. There's a jingle after you think. Dun 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 dun. Why don't you say well? Dun 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 dun. dun then. Well, because jingle goes here is the English way of doing that. That's Do ridiculous. You speak it, motherfucker. No, I don't. Oh, bag, pull the gun. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Oh, that's neat. If you hit her with the Magatama, then we're gonna know what uh, to look for. No. Oh. <laughs> Take that! Bum 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 bum. What you witnessed? <clears throat> All right, I'll be honest with you for now. Oh, then please tell us what you saw. But oh, what a waste! And here I have the perfectly good chance to have a little fun at a youngin's expense. Oh or my at you youngin's expense. God. I am a little devil after all. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is certainly getting a little erotic. Mm -hmm. I'm not moving it away, I just want to move it up a little bit. <laughs> is it still, still evil? Okay, there we go. 
Um, doesn't that imply that you're not a good person? All right, I'll give you what you want. This is gonna hurt. I don't think this exactly up. told me uh, what you wanted. No, she doesn't like she the Nico Cyber. She wants a present, though. I know. I, well, I, she loves Juan and the 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 Jam and Ninja. So. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I didn't get any any hints from that. Nope. Just that we want a present. Oh, Viola Hall. Viola. Viola. There's a very particular lobster in this hall. A very particular oh, very lobster. particular lobster. Yes. Yeah. It has a, a, a profound shape. Hmm. Hmm. It's not. It's really easy to miss. Looks like the investigation's still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Oh, wow. It's glorious. Wow. Yep. That's not sanitary. <laughs> Present it quest. sits tall and proud on the table. Mm hmm. What if we stole a teddy bear and some flowers for old bag? <laughs> oh, hey, the, hey, you're here. Be waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lada. Hey, Mr. Copfella, the thief showed his face. What? what, what, what? Arrest him, put him on trial, find him guilty, give him the death penalty. Oh, fuck you, Lada. <laughs> What's wrong, Lada? Are you feeling all right? Look here, and you're up and down the mountain, but I ain't here. So, why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera. C A M E R A. Oh, God. It's my lifeblood. I'm going to die without my $700 camera. Your, your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always go back to the scene of the crime? And looky, looky, here you are. Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. <laughs> huh? It's a pun, Pearls. It's a pun. It's a pun. Her name is Lotta, and it sounds like lot of, and we're in a lot of trouble, Pearl. Mm -hmm. Get it, Pearl? Uh, mm, Do you get I, it now? I don't think I fully understand, Mr. Nick. Okay, Pearl, here's a coloring book. Okay, go entertain okay. yourself a little bit. <laughs> the adults are talking. Yeah, first, maybe just talk to her. I don't know if we got anything to... S I just want to shove a rock in her face. Mm, they have a lot of feelings this morning, I see. Mm -hmm. mm. So you lost your camera. I ain't no ordinary camera. But it, yeah, buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. Mm, see, I have a lot of feelings. Huh? Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? Go back to your coloring book, Pearls. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on it and manager got all huffed up in my face. He gave me this talking to and it was real mean about it too. He done made me cry in that. When did you lose your camera? Last night after the murder happened. Must have been when I was too busy running and looking into things. Hmm. <clears throat> That's when I lost sight of my dear darling expensive suite. <laughs> but wouldn't you be like snapping pictures at all times? Mm, uh -huh, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time, or like hey? put it on a, a, a rope thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, soap <clears throat> on a rope. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I, I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So, I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything for my big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Could be. Wow. Ever look like a penis today, or is it just me? <laughs> it is just That's you. That's a lot of camera. I a think. lot of camera. Huge lens. A huge lens. Lotta, please let me... <clears throat> please tell me what you know what, uh, about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time of Mr. Ongardi's was arrested. I think it's just on guard. But she's on guardy type of okay. person. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Whenever a lot of, wherever a lot of goes, there's a story bound, a big scoop to be had. A big scoop. I told you before, I'm going to be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Wrecking course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what kind of scoop she was after this time. Although I was also on the lookout for other stars and that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. How great would it be to be like a really famous investigative journalist mm -hmm. and then you really love someone and then and then you publish your thing and you just like hand it to your your fiance or your, uh. your your girlfriend and you're like, you know, 
you know, like, world's most perfect scoop woman found, and you hand it to her, and she reads it, and she's like, this is public? And you go, yeah. Yeah. And then she goes, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> and, then, and then... Yeah, that's and, fine. And then the next issue is just like, dirty harlot. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. 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 <laughs> I, would, I would say Edit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mistakes uh, made. Yep. <laughs> Innocent journalists scored. <laughs> Uh, Perfect scoop woman. I know. Incredible. She doesn't work at Baskin Robbins. Mm. Big scoop. Wrong. Lada, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So, you uh, so you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought for myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that would you would hang around here for? Know it. Oh, what ah. your luck. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secrets, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Sure have. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, I hate you. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I rule smile. Ugh. Big scoop. I'm going to the bathroom. Ooh. New place. The Gatewater Hotel. <gasps> the drawer. Oh, of shit. Murder. Do you see what I see in here? I see A the trident. nickel samurai spear and the Jamma Ninja's sword. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, they were lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt on guard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh! Oh, this is me then? Uh, I, there's a lot of women this trial. Mm-hmm. I don't expect there that. There has been every time, though. Mm. Could be. Um, we, uh... Well, I don't know. You two figure it out. Do you, it, I, I don't care. Do you, you got one for this? You, you go. Go, go, go. What do you got? What um, do you got? Uh, we're... You're Mr. Ungod's lawyer, correct? Mm. I gathered as much. Mm. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he was your client. <laughs> <laughs> In a situation like this, the only person who should use such word would be his lawyer. Mm. I don't follow your logic. <laughs> you do know <laughs> logic, right? And how to use it. Mm. Wow. It's a simple deduction, really. The trial's tomorrow, and Mr. Ongard's situation is looking rather grim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you came here. One stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, mm -hmm. you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I'm Adrian Andrews. Those are quite masculine names. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. <laughs> oh my... Here's some handcuffs, take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 all right. <laughs> she may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> the night of the murder. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ongard. Um, what do you think that Ew. card is? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a shell. It's a seashell. You think so? The, yeah, seashell. Oh, a conch. The magic conch. Good too. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you take a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be a great witness. I don't know. Why, why is lunch and dinner always relevant? Uh, during cases with the sta samurais, you know? I don't know. It'd be really funny if her and Francisca sat down and had a conversation. Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be like that AI that taught itself its uh, own language. Yeah. And they would just like not want to waste time so much yeah. that uh, Adrian and Francisca would invent their own language. And they would just be like... <laughs> beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. That would be... <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> yes. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. hey -o. When the award show was starting, I headed for... Viola Tower Hall. I don't know why I thought it was a tower, but it was a hall. Viola Tower. Because 
It, it withheld the, the biggest tower lobster mm. the world has ever seen. Never seen. <clears throat> and after the show ended, you came back to this room. Mm -hmm. No, I had some small errands to run. Mm -hmm. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the <clears throat> post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Correg Corrida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything. Yeah. She does seem to be mentally tough as nails. I think mm. she's the mafia. I don't think so. You really think that? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Huh. I just think she's a manager. Mm. Um, so, uh, um, about you and, uh... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ungard and I are related, are you? <laughs> you know what, though? I do think that she would hire a kidnapper. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. <laughs> I think you do. Mm. Why did you have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. Aw, thanks, Pearls. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, all right? That's very wildly unnecessary. No, it's um, fine. I'm fine. fine. My shoulders have never been looser. Never, yep. I have these tiny baby hands. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm on Mr. Ongard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't! Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in regards to that. Or in regards that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see! This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Mm. <laughs> the industry of children's shows? I believe that. I hear the Teletubbies had a ton of internal strife. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There were actually several murders on the mm -hmm, set of Teletubbies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just never knew that the actors were changing through because of the costumes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But really if you look convenient. very carefully, they behave quite differently. Yeah. And if you look very even closer, you can see hints of violence between them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself for your poor partner. Or to your poor partner. Oh. Dragging a little girl like her to all the places like this. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, she's like the world's greatest lie detector. I don't know what to do without her. <laughs> You're wrong. I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya. Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, all right? I love how they support each other like this. It's so cute. I'll give you a solder massage. I'll buy you, you some, some juice. juice. I like to imagine her solder massage is just like like random slapping. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even with the side of her hands, just with her like Just full, slapping? Just yeah. slapping, because she doesn't fully understand what anything is. What, what it really truly is. Yeah, help Mr. Nick. Yes. Yes. Uh. That's too cute. Presento. Ha! Show me the badge! Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are no relevance to me. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is the first time I'm shut down this badly. Hmm. <laughs> ha! Nah, mm. damn. Well, because that's you're, you showed her the idea of a camera. I know, I was like, have you seen yes, it? Yes, I'm aware of what a camera mm. is, yeah. Mr. Wright. You were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ongard guard said he didn't know about it. Hmm. Is that what he said? Huh? huh. Oh, sorry. Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was requ a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. <clears throat> she doesn't care for trifling details. Sure. Nope, 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 nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to show me uh, a profile. I thought about it, yeah. I'll try this too. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, ooh. H23, woo! I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. Oh, sorry. That's cute. Take that's away cute. that layer of sarcasm, and she really does seem to hate herself. <laughs> oh. That's brutal. That's a little... Oh! What happened? Welcome, Welcome back. back. One of us again. Look at this. Such a fancy thing up there. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love the fade it. away. Fade away. One of us. One, one of us. One of y'all. One of y'all. 
Let's do it. Let's get. Let's get. Oh, we got that going on. Let's get a little burb. Burb love going to jet. Bang. Thank you. I know. Christ in beluga. I am. I am. I am. Rehearsals are done. The shows are going up. Opening night was last night. Ooh, yeah, we're doing a, a live stream. Oh. I, I gotta work out the time with you on that. Six thirty. Doing a mobile live stream. Six, yeah. We can do a six thirty live stream. Perfect. Six thirty. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll have dinner. We'll go walk over to the theater. The theater. I'll show you the the set that we got working on. Ooh, cool. Are we going on a, an exclusive date with like, Tom? You can yeah. go on an exclusive oh candlelit date with me. <laughs> I should just like tape the phone to my forehead. Oh and man, live POV. Date. Yeah, and we'll just do like the the, the yeah. hand. Oh <laughs> yeah, and we'll, do, and, and we'll do one of those like uh, one of those like Where eating you, around or drinking yeah. around each other sort yeah, of things, yeah. you know? What are they, what are these? What are, oh, whoa, what that's are, my hand. One of, one of these sort of things. They're like, oh no, no, you gotta <laughs> you gotta sip your drink like that. Yeah. Yeah. Unnecessary. Sneeze in your face. It'd be more better just like to drink for each and other. They just like just get it all over my beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, it's my first time. <laughs> I've never had a beard before. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, Burb. A dating sim now? <laughs> Streaming Chan! Yeah, I'll totally get naked. I mean no, I won't. No, I've already been naked today. <sighs> Me too. Me too. Yay. Yay. That's how you know we all showered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did, I haven't you showered? Yeah. Oh. You yeah. were there. <laughs> In our big Japanese style shared bathroom. Mm-hmm. I really no want one of those. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a I, shower room. Well, I guess. Uh, well, maybe just like. And, and again, I'm not, not going to go on this, but just like, <laughs> like a really cool like <coughs> shower hub with like yeah. a sauna attached to it. Okay. Mm, and nice. maybe a hot tub. Maybe yeah. a small hot tub. Yeah, yeah. That's my. If I design my own house, it would have that room. Well, let's win the lottery and do that. Yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Or we could work hard. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, or why not both? Why not both? All right, let's go with Will Powers. I want to see what she thinks of Will Powers. Yes. That's Mr. Will Powers. He's an actor contracted with Global Studios. He's a very nice man. A man with a good heart. Mm. Oh, do I smell a ship sailing? Mm. I ship it. Mm. But that's all he is and all he'll ever be. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> she she burned the ship in the harbor. <laughs> yeah, she fucking punched a hole in that yeah. ship. <laughs> Ooh, what a horrible thing to say. Society doesn't care about genuinely nice people, Mr. Wright. Huh? For a second, her face twisted in pain. Oh, no. I wonder if something <clears> happened <throat> to Miss Andrews. Psyche lock, activate. Did you know the victim, Mr. Corita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly. They were like children when it came to that. Mm. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. Daily reminder that I'm better than you at video games. Mm. 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 Ouch. Yep. If either of if either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would needed to have to die. Daily reminder, I'm going to kill you. Oof. Oh. Mm. Mm. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. Oh. She must know why Juan Corito was killed. Oh, I thought it was gonna happen there. Bum, 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 I asked to become Miss on Mr. Ongard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Oh, hmm. Mr. Ongard does seem like a regular, we or rather weak-willed man, always doing as he's told. Oh, yeah, she'd he's love that. He's always saying, my manager. Right, Mr. Nick? Hmm. Um, I'd like to ask you about this. All right. You okay. post for life, what about it? Perhaps we have some uh, new options to talk to her about. Yeah, maybe. I just like to show her profiles. Nice. Motive for murder. murder. And this is where it happens. Do you have any ideas? As to... As to why Mr. Corita was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? <gasps> Goodness. Yeah. These are big psyche locks. Yeah. M Miss Andrews. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Oof. Is it a psyche lock, Mr. Nick? Yes. There's getting me more and more of these lately. Mm -hmm. Woo, we have no evidence. Nope. Oh, we haven't examined this room at all. No, nice. we haven't. That's the bedroom over there. Okay. That's a bed? Yes. 
Wow, they have really big beds here. Oh, I could, I could understand that. She would that. have a futon yeah. that would roll out probably, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. in in the in the side oh, room, yeah, they, they, they had those little futons. things. Yeah, okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. You think the picture's different? Nah, yeah. I didn't think so. That's a really big bed. No clues here. And I'm almost very curious to see what the programming for this would be like. Just like blocks of like you can click in here for like different things to happen. Yeah, I was talking about how I would like for them to highlight mm. and whether or not I've seen them or not. Ah, yes. But Which was that, what they fixed in V3. Chat, chat reminded me that uh, <clears throat> the game was made in like... <laughs> ah, Mm. Thank you. Gonna make my month's absence. Tom is dead. We must we kills Clay's son. What the fuck, Clay? Who the fuck thinks it's spring in February? I That's have so a new burb name is Killer. Oh, nice. His, I have a new burb. His name's Killer. Oh, but it'll be Kelly. You're gonna be in my Metopia game. All right, bitches. Woo! Damn. There's All right. a lot of information bitches. in that. A lot Thank of that. Lot of effective. Effective Ooh. use of donations. Yeah, Thank you so effective. much for. There's, there's too much to talk about. There was you, a usually, spook. Usually there was a, like a, a one, one topic. Fun. Yeah, there was, there was, there was one update. topic to, to there was, on. Yeah. Damn. I like that. Kelly the Killer. That's fun. That's a fun name. Killer Kelly. Killer Kelly. I like it. Yep. Thank you, Burp. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Mm. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Oh, thinking like Maya. Maya would be absolutely thrilled and probably mm. want to steal it. She would absolutely <laughs> want to steal it. There's a giant bone sitting on, oh, not this again. My God, if I have to prove the T-bone steak theory again. <laughs> I... I don't really like meat. You heard it here first, folks. Good. There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger Not on again. It oh, come on. It's probably Mr. Ungard's suitcase. For someone who was only going to be here for an award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he was about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? There's. Oh. I meet on the bone. <laughs> on the meat bone. On the meat bone. I think that's the whole room. That is disappointing. Mm. You're disappointed. Very. Oh, you know what, though? Let's, uh. Go into the closet. Yeah, Here's let's closet. go into the closet. Take that! After I do this. Mm. Bone the meat master. Bone the meat masters. Okay. 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 I legitimately thought that on the meat bone was the right answer for that. Yeah. I'll remind people of that. <laughs> Why was Han Juan Carino murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger with by your actions? Why do you ask such questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Corita. Ooh. Hmm. You were not that close. That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. <laughs> <laughs> <I see. laughs> mm. You are not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Uh, okay, so okay, we're looking so for something. Yeah. Uh, I dig uh, her style a lot, though. Yeah. I do. I yeah, do. yeah, we're looking for a set of handcuffs or uh, fuzzy handcuffs. I'm actually watching uh, Fate Apocrypha, right, uh, Apocrypha, Apocrypha mm -hmm. right now. You should watch that if you liked uh, Fate Zero. Actually, mm -hmm. well, you should watch the Chronological Court. Anyways, um, but uh, one of the characters, she wears a shirt just like that, but it's actually a button-up white shirt in that exact same style with a tie. I know. Looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm a big so, fan. Exact same shape as, as, as what's going on right here. Button-up, white shirt, black tie. And then thigh high socks in the skirt. Oh, it's, it's a really, it. really wonderful aesthetic. Very really good wonderful. aesthetic. <sighs> hey, what's going on? Typical also, viewer. blonde and busty. Blonde and busty. Yeah, if that's not a motive to watch the series, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it didn't. Except for, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but don't they, spoil it. They did something really weird to Jack the Ripper. I was, I'm a little uncomfortable about it. <laughs> okay. It's just wildly unnecessary. Like wildly unnecessary. Okay. Yeah, Corita's hotel room. Here we go. Corita. This is where we. Oh. The? Oh my God! If these are all, if these are all from Adrian. Oh my God! What would that mean? What would that mean? 
Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in, we're in, in heaven. Hell, we're in heaven. heaven. Either heaven or hell. We're I can't, in, I no, we're, in, he, we're in heaven. Yeah. It's totally, it's totally all right. <laughs> so weird. Can you tell me more about hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's just right in the middle. You know, it's, it's fine. It's not so bad. Oh my God, that's not, that's so interesting. <laughs> Only, like only, Earth. only sub one thousand subscribers yeah. would know that reference. How do you? Uh, how do you? Who? 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 Who makes Helvin run? Does Helvin have employees? Uh, it, can, I, can I work there? <laughs> Gaten, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jucifer. <laughs> Jucifer, Lord of the Juice. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. That's, that's like a millimeter away from I the know, right? I know, right? Real millimeters. <laughs> Jesus. He turns apple juice into orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone, fire your bear puns. We're in Mr. Juan Carita's room, Pearls. Oh, man. Mr. Carita. <laughs> you really Juan a bear victim. pun? <laughs> Which makes this a crime scene, too. I thought, oh, they, oh, it's you. So what happened? Kidnapper, he's contacted you again. Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. On Guard's acquittal. Aw, oh, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want Maya to be all right. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this one special circumstances, right, pal? Aww. I'll even tell you everything I know, but you gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go. Little Missy. Oh. Oh, wow. you're giving it to me? Thank you. It's not a coloring book. Ha <laughs> ha, well, wouldn't want you to get lost in the hotel. Too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's great, Pearls. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Pearls and Gumshoe. They're both so great. They should, I would nice. love for them to have like a spin-off series. A spin-off oh, series. Wow. Whoa, there's more to that room. There is a lot of bear happening in here. Oh god. Yeah, what? I barely noticed. <laughs> <laughs> a considerable amount of bear and a rice cooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know what they say about, rice uh, about they, that. You know what they said about Juan Carita. Uh -huh. He wasn't afraid to bear at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's that really funny. <laughs> it's, uh, they're all, they're all quote unquote funny. Yeah. None of them are good though. They're all barely funny. <laughs> they're all barely funny. <laughs> <laughs> they're all barely funny. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're really good because he's bearing it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's, why, God. that's why no one could bear his porn acting, I guess. Because <laughs> he was, sorry, because he was a, a bear. No, because he was a bear. <laughs> Wasn't you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Was, wasn't afraid. <laughs> we, we're like we're just gonna keep be, keep spinning around here like a bearing yeah, if we don't yeah. move on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, if we keep spinning. I'll lose my bearings. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> like the time that you're on the bearing sea. Ah, uh, 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 bear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that joke with your bare hands? Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 did you see what he did there? He put the word bear in his sentence and then inserted it into a normal sentence. <laughs> this is pandemonium. And now you're just pandering. <laughs> God. Just bear, that's it. We've Stop evolved the into bear, or panda bear buns. <laughs> panda bear buns, oh, damn it. God. I don't know if we're qualified to make all these puns. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real grisly butchering. <laughs> Leaving a black mark on the whole world of comedy. Koalas are actually marsupials and not bears. Mm. Well, <clears throat> he nice. killed it. Killed it. <laughs> That's the end of it. Do you know what was the cause of death? <laughs> well, uh, technically the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... Well, look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should. Yeah, here's a picture. Oh, kind of gruesome. Look at this dead body, Grant. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, it's uh, drug abuse. Mm, there's a knife uh, in his chest. What? It wasn't drugs? Oh, so that knife is way too shallow to kill. And it's like a butter knife. I know. Well, it's like the tip of it is sticking just, out. Just the tip. He's just the fine, tip. really. I'm going to kill you, but I'm just going to use the tip. <laughs> Wooden does end lives. Yeah, pal. That's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. Yeah, they're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife. Yep. And it uh, looks like they're pretty sure they're uh, Mr. Ungardi's prints, pal. Everyone's an Ungardi, eh? Well, he's, uh, no, anybody that's kind of a country bumpkin. You know, I feel like oh, Gum no. Gumshoe, Gumshoe well, worked Gumshoe's on a... a city slicker. No, 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 he's not. He worked on a farm. He came to the big city to make a difference, and, uh, you know, now he's uh, solving crimes. Although I really do worry about his heart, though. He's always breathing very heavily. Very heavily. Yeah. He's I, not used to the city I, air. I he's used so. to that nice, uh, pure country air. That's bad. Real bad. Why was Mr. Ungard arrested? <laughs> because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like victim Juan Corita uh, really put up a big fight. Ooh. <laughs> this army of robot bears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. But there's signs of a struggle, or there's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, uh, his button came off. Mr. Ungard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his Hakama. Oh, but that's not all. What? Oh, there was a witness, pal. A witness? Who is it? The lady is the old bag. Please, anyone but her. Well, the prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vix is, uh, that's a little off. Something that's a little off? As in... As in, that's for you to figure out, pal. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Hooey! Oh, it looks like his uh, guitar Look peed itself a little. A little, just a little. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corita fought his assailant. What are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe. There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? <laughs> I guess not. Thank you for that, Pearls. Now I feel bad. Mm. Mm. A beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. V8? Oh, oh, no. right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. V8 is not tomato juice. It's a vegetable alternative to tomato juice. It's mainly tomatoes, though. Shut mm. your face. <laughs> There's a bottle of it on the table over here. That's probably where this came from. I really hope that the Jammin' Ninja was like a vampire wannabe that just drank tomato juice all the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To refill his spiritual energy. But doesn't it seem weird? Well, what seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. But the wine glass is there still. Just She's showing. right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? It's precious. Uh, you know what I think it was? He was doing his makeup, and he got just like a diva attack, you know? Just oh. like, ah, I hate everything! And then, uh. like, ah, and then went over, poured himself a glass of wine, and then sat and sipped it and went, What is this pregnancy uh. test doing sitting on the couch right here? And why can't I investigate it? Mm. I, want to, I want to check that pregnancy test. Give me, give me, give me the baby. It looks like Mr. Karita had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage only after eating a meager meal like this. Got to keep that girly figure. Mm. So that's a bed, right? <laughs> yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. <laughs> big beds must be a rarity for her. Aww. I like big beds and I cannot lie. I just imagine her like, meow, <laughs> <laughs> into the bed. Oh, good times. Extremes are funny. If oh, she jumped, on, if she jumped on the bed and just like, and like landed <laughs> and just didn't move at all, funny. Uh, yeah, if yeah. she jumped and like hit the roof, funny. Yeah. Moderate, moderate <laughs> bounce. Oh, there's your mom. A, hey, mom, what's going on? You're live. I was worried. This one swallowed you up. It snowed like a foot. 
I'll have to show you the uh, Persona 5 stream. We tried to run on a treadmill and it was really funny. Oh, it was really funny. In, the, in that in that uh, way that you just explained. <laughs> Speaking of it snowing afoot, we don't own a, a, a shovel. We don't. We don't. Jacob has all the shovels. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I, I was this morning looking outside and I'm like, how am I going to deal with the snow? Mm. I use your hands. No gloves. Yeah, okay. no gloves. There's all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh, there's a beet and some ketchup and a bottle of strawberry jam, too. Maybe red was his favorite color. You know, mm. like, not even joking, we should buy some V8s next time because I don't think we get enough vegetables, and I think it'd be a good way to just get vegetables. Supplements? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, nice vegetable supplement. Yeah, I drank V8 once. It was all right. Yeah, I feel like if, if you drink enough of them, you get used to them. I yeah. used to drink V8 all the time with a little bit of salt and pepper. You oh, love salt and pepper. Yeah. Ooh, we could add some vodka in it. Oh, and man. Like that. And Tabasco. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I love that. Oh, ooh, celery it. rim. A little yeah, saltiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of berries nice. here. <laughs> Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddy bears, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there some kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. <gasps> yeah. I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies. It's hard to bear with these problems. Growl! I don't think I want a bear with the trauma left. <laughs> last case left me. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Is it who done it last case? Huh? Who done it last case? Oh, it was we can't Regina. talk about that. We can't? It was Regina, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. She uh, just wanted everyone to become stars, and she was like, really, actually, serial killing the thing. She's like, well, half my circus is up in the stars. I might as well get the rest of the circus in the and stars. Does. Yeah. So she, she killed a man. Yeah, and she was, she was really father. working on everything. Yeah. It was, that's why it was really cryptic when she was like, Maya, you'd be really good at the circus. She was planning to kill Maya, too. No way. Yeah. That's whack, man. Yep. I know. Real whack. I mean, we can answer that. We passed it. I know. I had a thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been a really great twist of the story? Don't you insult the angel. Ginger's losing it right now, I'm sure. No, That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, seriously, though, you, I don't think you met him, but uh, there was an acrobat uh, who was yeah. a uh, paraplegic, and he, he did it. Uh, he meant yeah. to kill Regina because Regina um, accidentally killed his brother. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. With a lion attack? Yeah, with a yeah. pepper scarf. Yeah, there was pepper in the scarf, and then they did the lion in the head trick, but then the lion sneezed, and... Chop well, the thing off. is, yeah, yeah, she meant to only make him sneeze because yeah. he used to make her sneeze with pepper. It was really cute. And so she's like, we I'm going to give her this scarf made with pepper. And he's like, hey, I'm going to just stick my head in this lion because I've never done it before. And now seems like a good time to impress you. Yeah. Didn't work out. Didn't work out for him. No. No. So what did we learn? Don't impress girls. It won't yeah. get you anywhere. Yeah, except yeah, yeah. For and don't stick your head in the lion's mouth. Just not a good idea. Nope. That, oh. that too, I guess. That is, that's a savage case. Yep. Speaking of cases, it's a suitcase. There's so many things in it that I bet it barely closes. But his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. Do all stars pack this much stuff like Mr. Karita? Only the all stars. Hmm, <clears throat> it's so messy in here. Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are. Pretty please. Oh, okay. That over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. I know what a watch is. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Theo, Oops. thanks. For a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. <laughs> oh, wow, Nick. Her life's in danger and you're over here throwing shade. shade. <laughs> oh, shot. Shot. I literally thought I was shot dead there. For a moment, I thought a bullet had hit me and I died. I know. This is a uh, horrid lie. How dare you? I'm unsponsoring. <laughs> I thought it was a really great story. I wouldn't even mind writing like a fan fiction on that story. Yeah. Regina the Murderer. Yeah. We have, like, a, ooh, there's actually a program where we can make our own kind of cases and improvise them. So it'd be fun if we all just did our own cases. Mm. And then we and then we improvise that case. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Bow, bow. I would love to write a murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bert. Some silence and then... Please don't sponsor. Just be yeah. sponsored. <laughs> Bert, you do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. 
Wow! There are a lot of bears. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay. Having a bear with all these problems. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? What about How have we not found any evidence? I'm so upset by this. The big bear in the corner. Yeah, the big bear. I, I, I don't think it was. What? Wow, there are a lot of bears. What is it? Is it Bowser? <laughs> I want to end you. There's nothing what in the What about that radio? Radio. That radio. ghetto blaster right there. What's on the radio? It's blasting music from the mm, 90s nothing. and it's not a clue there. <laughs> don't turn around. I don't know the lyrics past this point, but the song kind of goes like this. <laughs> I really thought we'd find something that confirmed the love or, uh, or, or her camera or something. Are we playing Where's Waldo with her camera basically? Like, is mm. it just somewhere like in the chandelier? Uh, ooh. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. Look at you, doing well with yourself. Uh, oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, Mr. Powers. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home and let alone leave. Oh my god, he's literally been here the whole time in his little tuxedo and everything. Wow. <laughs> also, I didn't realize this before, mm -hmm. um, but his tuxedo is actually the exact same color scheme and pattern as his jumpsuit from before. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's just a tuxedo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it has the stripes and stuff. That's yeah. really funny. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like he took his tuxedo to the, or his yeah. sweatsuit to the to, to a tailor. Was like, I need a tuxedo. Uh, I need a tuxedo. <laughs> I need you to make this sweatsuit into a tuxedo. <laughs> sweatsuit. <laughs> the sweatsuit cedo. He only has one sweat outfit. Yeah. One outfit. <laughs> that he just constantly. That he just gets tailored. <laughs> mm. All right. After a few years, it's entirely new fabric. Mm. The Nickel Samurai. Can you tell me more, a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. Ooh. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's a sequel to The Steel Samurai. It has the same theme song, too. I know. Look at his robot arm there. I'm still waiting for the villain's name to be the Eviler Magistrate. I really mm. want that to happen. I see! This time, there are three Samurai Brothers. Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course, the Nickel Samurai. It's a love why in Neo Tokyo. Eh? So they all love each other? I see! Wait! A love what? Love why. This girl, uh. Sayo, works at a tea shop and all the three guys oh that's cool fall for her at the same time wait a second i could fall in love with a girl named sayo oh yeah you already did isn't this the plot to samurai pizza cats yes it is isn't yes. it yes it is there was that one female pizza cat and yep. all three of them loved her and they all mm -hmm. vied for her love in like different ways like she wasn't very bright i don't think. No, she was not no she wasn't unfortunately but she she did no there, well. there was two male pizza cats and then the one female one Oh, right, 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 right. And the one was like goofy, heroic, kind of. And then the other was like super suave. And yeah, he handled he the cheesy like, lies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the third female pizza cat was like, you guys are idiots. That's right. She's not even that pretty. I'm pretty. And I think I think the the, the tea girl, or, no, the, was she a tea girl? I think she was a tea girl. Maybe. But I think she was quite busty as well, if I remember correctly. Probably. Probably. She was a robot. They were all yeah. robots. Man, and those budget running animations. They didn't even buy running, running animations. They just literally had them like... Uh, like hold a single image and then they just slid across the screen. No, really yeah, yeah. they were on like rollerblades, but there was no motion to it. They just kind of like, mm. yeah, <laughs> really great. They really. got shot out of a giant gun. They did. They did. I did not watch this ever. They recycled that asset so much. Yep. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I guess the Y shape uh, is like three brothers colliding over this one girl. Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. <gasps> Oh my god! What? Sounds like an unusual situation. Like Romeo and Juliet. I love Times that. three. I was just gonna say that. Uh, also, we missed something in Corita's room. Oh, we did. Oh, yes. damn it. Says Dijon. Y yeah. Strange this. The strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the official office ladies. I bet. Um. Yes, Pearl. What, what happens next? I wanna know. Aww. Miss Sayo, does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm gonna stop watching Kids' Masterpiece Theater starting this week. Aww. No, I can't you. believe she's really considering it. 
I'm not considering it. I put it in my day planner. <laughs> day planner. The day planner you used to learn at Kids Masterpiece Theater. Yes, mm. they taught me how to organize my life. <laughs> no. That's why I have time to watch shows like The Nickel Samurai. <laughs> so what's the Jam and Ninja TV show like? It started with a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. The Jam and Ninja. Like the samurai shows, it's geared toward kids. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh... First time seeing it. Yeah, Jam and Ninja is our favorite guy. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I envisioned him either playing Wonderwall or the Juicy Fruit song. Mm, Juicy Fruit. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, he was moving yeah. the Juicy Fruit song, which yeah. is why he got killed. That was it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really actually wanted to be beaten with his guitar mm. for the murder thing. Yeah, well, his guitar great. is missing. His gear is missing. Uh, it's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall but became a big pop star anyway. Huh? What? It was a real lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> I want to watch the show. But boy, could he sing. Oh it's, my it's, god. It's Little Witch Academia, but with a ninja. <laughs> yeah, who plays songs. Who plays songs. <laughs> but his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. <laughs> listen, listen. I know there's a very heated clan feud going on. And I know that he killed your sister and you killed his brother. But a long, long time ago, <laughs> I can still remember how that... Music used to make me smile. Well, I guess he's gonna play music. I'll, help. I'll put down my weapons and we'll just have to listen. <laughs> yeah. Together. <laughs> a, a, a ninja with a bright red guitar. And then the final fight in front of his beloved princess, Misora. Jammin versus the Muromachi 5. Muromachi. Jammin versus the Muromachi 5. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so jam and cold the right before the night of the battle three. Oh my god. Not so jam and cold. Not so jam and cold. Oh, that's too bad for him. Yeah. But this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Um. Yes, Pearl. What, what happens next? I want to know. Jammin. The, the Jammin Ninja. Will he be able to sing? What about Princess Misola? She's fuck. He's he's dead. <laughs> well, Every Sunday at 8 a.m. Like he's dead though. Powers. I don't. I don't mm. think that's gonna happen. Only anymore. reruns. Um, which show should I watch? Hmm. I can't believe she's really considering it. <laughs> that's so cute. Now I have to weigh the pros and cons of each show since they're running at the same time. Thanks, Kids Masterpiece Theater, for teaching me how to do this. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm gonna run back to Korea's room really quickly. Oh, hey, I, oh, what, oh. Okay, what could I have possibly missed? Missed here. here. Did you know we're back here? Let us know. All right. What am I looking for? Because I, I totally. Is it the table in the center? Hmm, maybe the center table. No, this is when Pearls wanted to know about all the electronic things. Ah, uh, so that's it. Yeah. Look at this one bear humping the couch. Oh, you have tried examining the car guitar case and failed. Oh, what? Really? Yep. We we examined too far off the case. <sighs> ah, this is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar's not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show. But Mystic Maya... She said the bright red guitar was the Jam and Ninja's signature item. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm hmm That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on top of the lid. Yeah. There's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? I'm, yes, yes, Pearl. It's definitely water. It's not anything else. Today's stream is actually sponsored by Kids Bop. <laughs> Thanks. Gadot the goat. Gadot the goat. Gadot the goat also mm. had a, a really cool uh, oh, thing wow. there with just the tip. <laughs> He's like, Kono stando da. Just oh. the tip. Mm. <laughs> He's uh, Mr. Angardi's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking with people like her. As soon as I open my mouth, I get all flustered. Oh. 
So she's one of the women with the brain. She's someone who uh, gets things done. I don't, I don't know how I fuck up. Oh. Yeah, she does give that sort of impression. Like she's got it all together. Unlike mm. a certain someone I know who got kidnapped and I like to rag on. <laughs> Compared to her, you can easily tell uh, I'm a uh, can't do anything right kind of guy. Oh. That's why I think he's so charming. Mm. <laughs> you have flaws. Hey, Nate River. Uh, but that's... he tries so hard anyway, and know. that's what makes it the charm. Hey, and he happen. got so far, he's a detective. And it all and works out in the end. Yeah. That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. I feel sort of bad for him. I thought she was an alien from outer space. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Nah, even without the helmet off. <laughs> I thought she was an alien, Belle. Oh, for sure. <laughs> an alien raisin from the planet <laughs> Grape. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably best to kept to yourself, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, seriously. I, I, I phoned the History Channel. <laughs> they're on their way. <laughs> hey, they're on their way, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna take her in, they're gonna talk to her, uh, they're gonna figure out some stuff. They're gonna, they're gonna invent stuff because of her. I'm, uh, I'm a real hero. Hey, uh, why don't we get, let bygones be got bygone, pal? Look, this guy's guilty. A buck says so. One dollar. You sure you're not talking about Pearl's allowance money? Uh, oh. <laughs> any more than that. My salary, it's... Um... <laughs> it doesn't matter what we think. I still have to defend Mr. On Guard in court or else. Mr. Nick. So cute. <laughs> okay, I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything, uh... But I know who Juan Guarita and uh, Matt and Gardy are. You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. You can't talk about Juan without the other? Ah. <laughs> uh, one thing. I don't know why. Uh, uh, they even uh, debuted around the same time. I'm kidding. You gotta stop that. I'm <laughs> kidding. That joke. They even debuted. Did you skip it now? I think that you're not doing it on purpose. You're just trying to cover up your own thing. So they have this real fiery rivalry with each other. Kind of like you and me, pal. Oh, I never knew he thought of me as a rival. Hmm. A rival detective, I guess. <clears throat> hey, Lily. Not a choice. She would be my number, th number three on my list of people I don't want to see. Because I'm in the number one spot. Don't get all high and mighty on me here. Number one's Francisca, for sure. Yeah. You've taken a tumble into second place, pal. Huh? Really? Then who's in first? His fucking car is miles and... Oh, m miles and miles ahead of you in this one, race. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're really scary right now, Ms. Von Garm. You really don't. He's so scared of her that he's whispering now. Mm. <laughs> You don't. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Oh. Well, actually, I don't even have this text before. <laughs> what do you know miles about this? Miles and miles. Miles and miles. Get it? Miles and miles. Edgeworth. Miles of edges that are worth his time. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing special I can tell you about this, pal. Look, pal, we don't have a lot of time. Why don't you uh, show me something more important? Ms. Von Kama's army here like this. That switch sides real fast. Oh. <clears throat> oh, good. I think I've lost some weight, pal. <laughs> it's only wishful thinking. Oh, Phoenix, come on. Wishful thinking, huh? In that case, I wishfully think I lost some weight. <laughs> he's, he's a cutie pie. I wishfully think he might face the facts one day. Lately, I've been on one of those instant noodle only diets, pal. No, not good. Not a good way to live. Yo, ER Fleming, heckin' in here. Hey, little missy, listen good, okay? Okay, what is it? Man or the devil? No. You don't wanna, <laughs> don't wanna talk to them ever. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Mr. Nick? And uh, don't ever pick up a whip, okay? Unless you want to, because I'm not about, you know, shaming that sort of thing. But uh, don't even think about it either, okay? Oh, I see. <laughs> that is so funny. 
Huh? That has to get turned down like just a little oh, bit. Oh, we don't have yeah. Twitch on there. But Scout, Twitch thank you so much. Line. Scout so live. Weird. Okay, the nuke landed on Twitch and now it's more than dead. Oh. What happened on Twitch that made it more than dead? Uh, I, I assume this notification. Oh, what? Oh, but Literally, no. you can only hear the echoes of that sound from Twitch. Thank you, Scout. Wow. For the resub for five months. Five oh. months sub. How, how time flies. Isn't that fantastic? Thank you, Scout. Thank you, Scout. Pleasure to have you around. Night block. <laughs> okay, okay. If uh, you ever find yourself thinking you want one, try to make do with a good slap to the face. Got that? Slap the person in the face. <laughs> Such a great conversation. Promise me, okay? <laughs> Promise me you'll slap them in the face. Personal experience tells me Gumshoe should be careful with what he wishes for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Mm. I'm sorry. For what? I really want to help you look for her, pal. Mr. Detective. If anything happens, let me know, okay? I want to help in any way I can. We got any new talkies? No. Well, I guess we're all done here. Seems that way. That was good, though. It was a good time. Do you think we should talk to Max? Probably. His name's not Max. Matt. Uh, because uh, we've explored all of the. I'm just gonna go back here for one. Do we have second. a present for her? Mm, yeah. We do not. Well, maybe we can talk to her now that there's a guitar. Okay. But guitar and liquid, no, she's locked. Yeah, she's okay. locked. She's yeah, she's locked. Yeah, she's locked. <clears throat> uh, yeah, lot of lot of <clears throat> lot of will and old bag are all locked. Yes. Wait. A lot of Adrian, a lot of Adrian old bag. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah. women, all the women are locked. Um, let's just go to that hotel lobby. No, oh, yeah. Okay, let's just turn. There are cameras the everywhere. Here. There are. We checked them out, and the, and Maya wanted to steal one. As it goes. Is he in nice. questioning? Oh, nice. So Tasso requested that you be on guard, Tom. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. What are we? So what I was doing uh, was sort of like, like a surfer. Dude. Kind of like oh. California. Oh he's, yeah. He's not. He's not like. Yeah. Not all there upstairs. Oh I yeah, guess. dude. Yeah, no, he's a dude guy. Oh, lawyer dude. So, uh, what did you find out? Um. Well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. Yeah. But if I told you everything I know, dude. It's good. Huh. Can you tell me about your activities last night? No, after I got the award, I took a break and went uh, to my room. I had a post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in a uh, nickel samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around and being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude. I had no idea about any press conference, all right? That's strange. I thought the nickel samurai was going to confess something. Oh, anyway, I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it, it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corita was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. Uh, that's when uh, the detective in green coat showed up. He searched me, and then uh, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. The Vic. About you and the Vic. Mr. Juan Carita, what sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, uh, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to just to try to make a jamming ninja movie, even though we all know it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So, why would I and the winner have uh, any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude. You'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's stuff we had heard before, but it wasn't checked off. Weird. Which Ooh. was a bit odd. Ooh, yeah, you can show him the wine or the guitar. Mm. Dude, I know. It's stuff, man. Oh, sorry. What? That, that was actually new. What? No. Oh. Dude, I know I like to throw money around, but it's not like I'd buy anything and everything. That's nice. 
Because it's not up for sale anyway. Dude. Dude. We never actually looked at the guide, guide map. map yeah. Dude. Well, it's his pearls is holding it, okay? Dude. Hmm. Hmm. Hotel hmm. guide map. Partial. Oh boy, we're gonna have to go into the other side at mm -hmm. some point. I wonder if he likes bears, this guy. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, why did you send him that? Dead. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, I told you, I don't know anything about that press conference. I leave that kind of stuff to my manager. This is harder than pulling face from a river. Bass. 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 Ah, damn it. I know. They're spelled exactly the I same. I know. There's right? no way you could have known. Except for the fish and the context. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, except for context. Yeah. yeah. But you know what's But I was wondering if they were bass fish. About what you said. Me said. Is we're missing a guitar. And a bass is a bass guitar. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. A bass dude. Eater. A bass eater. A bass eater. But well, bass. actually, wait. Let's let's try <laughs> one thing here. I don't know why. God, uh, South Park is so wonderful. It is absolutely. The time where he gives Token the bass guitar, it's like Token, you play bass. Like I don't play bass. I like, guess you do. Just play the bass. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my manager. Did you meet her? Uh yeah. What do you What do you think? Strong woman, right? And she takes good care of me. You're such a mama's boy. Takes such good care of me. Um, I think we've we've hit all of these. Um, mm -hmm. and there's nothing new to talk about. Nope. Okay. But well. maybe we can go back to her and unlock or Adrian's psych lock with psyche lock with that she did care about him. Well, who has the fewest locks? Because she has four. I think Lotta has the fewest. Yeah, we haven't found three, anything. anything. To we do haven't with found Lotta. Her, oh, unless that's... unless maybe Lotta left her camera here. Hmm. They're all basically doing the same thing, staring at the empty stage. Yeah, well. Hmm. Even Mr. Engar, um... How does a person supposed to give a conference not know about it? <laughs> yeah, right? There's a restaurant up here, they said. A lobby, the grand staircase, always feels enormous. But right now, the only thing filling this enormous room is the anxiety about the murder. Oh, damn. I really hope nothing else bad happens here. Mm, foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. We've talked all we talked with Mr. Will, and I don't think we have any great evidence for Mr. Will. I'm going to show uh, this camera, though. No. Uh. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, Bro in sh oh. oh! That guitar case was Juan's. I'm guessing you've seen this case before. It's pretty famous by now. It stands out because it holds the bright red guitar. The bright red guitar. The Jam and Ninja's signature item. But if the guitar is so important, how can you forget it for the awards ceremony? That does seem a little strange. Hmm. God damn it. Do you think we could show old bag some of the stuff and she'd be like, well. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, show her the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything to say to delinquents like you. Grr, she's clamming up like the old clam that she is. Mm. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Nope, that's fine. Uh, nope, that's okay, really. She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know. I know. Well, it's better than the alternative, the I'll tell you that are much. 48, 27, 84. Damn. Busty, bro. Busty. She got that badonk. Kadonk. The suit hides it really well. My anaconda don't. <laughs> My aunt, mm, uh, mm, oh. Um, you maybe you can just literally present her camera to herself. No, we got it from her. There's I know. no way that would Probably. I lost my you know? camera. Is it in your pocket? Oh, oh shit. Sure, there, there it is. is. Dejong is uh, offering help. 
Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a try everything moment. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay, right I'll, now you're only missing two yeah, minor yeah, bits of information. Do you want to know where they are to find them? Yeah, let's do it. Currently missing one uh, evidence presented to Gumshoe and one profile presented to Mr. Powers. Sorry, what was that? Uh, yeah, show something to Gumshoe yeah. and show someone to Powers. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Person. We show him a person. A person. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Ah, mm, mm, mm. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I ship it. Hmm, so Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. Hmm. Woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her. Oh. Know her, you know? Oh, he's a stalker. Hmm. There's a sort of small rumor going around about her right now. <gasps> a rumor? <laughs> if you're interested, I'd be glad to share what I know. He's so happy. He looks like a lion that's just found his next meal. Nice. Gossip on Adrian. <gasps> oh my god! We DMZ oh up in here! Oh! God scandalous! Oh no, what are we? What, let's keep, we're keep star up in here. That's who we are. Let's get wrong. Awesome. Awesome. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, oh, so you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah. There's such a weakness for celebrity gossip too. Oh really? You too, huh? <laughs> yeah. So take a look at this. Looks like a tabloid Miss Oldbag would read. Oh my god. Alright, let's see here. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. Oh! To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the star, Miss A.A. A. You you see now, don't you? Oh, what? Dude. Uh-huh. No, I don't get it. No, what? What? No, I don't. I don't. What? What are those? This is. Yeah, that is. This and is. Uh, what to do, though? Yeah. Uh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's just weird. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's like, it's like, um, one of those like pigs in a blanket, but you mm. can't get the pig in the blanket. Can't do it. No. Yeah. Can't. Can't you're missing. I mean, I guess you could just blend them all up and have a smoothie. Yeah. It was like hot dog and pastry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people I call guess. it that. Yeah. Like, I guess. Mystery meat. Mystery meat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I think I probably eat it with a spoon at that point. Mm. Yeah. This mm. is weird. I'd, uncomfortable. Yeah. A lot of this <laughs> went too far. No. <laughs> Juan Korea didn't have a manager of his own. Which means if you're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA. Oh, pencil sharpener. Thank you, Sony Sung. Ah, that was it. That was it. Adrian Andrews. Yes, exactly. That is big news. But it seems kind of odd. That woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client. Oh, is that a wonderful thing that can only happen between two people? Mr. Powers looks so happy. Pearls is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Ow. Oof. No, but it's, it's true. Another man's, one man's moe is another man's treasure. No, mm. wait. One man's trash is another man's moe? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One man's trash is another man's moe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's it. Now that's we got to show something to Mr. Gumshoe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gumshoe. I bet you it's the camera. I Damn bet it. you it's the newspaper article we just got. I bet you it isn't. I bet you. Okay. I bet, no. you, I bet you I'll fight you. I will I will win. Bet new lunch that it is not the news article. <laughs> Present <laughs> the news article. <laughs> Oh, so you saw that article too? Yeah, but I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Actually, we've been looking into that too, pal. Those secret meetings, I mean. What is this world coming to when even the cops are amateur gossip collectors? Hey, why are you looking at me like that, pal? Whatever you're thinking, you're wrong. Um, look, when we find out more from the investigation, I'll let you know, okay? 
Ba boom. Ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Ah, damn. You're wrong too, and I said it was going to be presenting the guitar case. What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that? This is just what I heard, pal, but uh, that's the Jammin' Ninja signature item. The guitar case? No, not that. What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. But the guitar is missing. Yeah, we look for it, too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most famous item to an award show. I think he was wearing it. Um, in the intro as well. He mm. was not. He wasn't, eh? They mentioned that he wasn't. Ooh. Oh. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case after all. Maybe they held his guitar hostage and lured him into the murder. D Killer has the guitar. D Killer has the guitar. <laughs> Instead of, like, screaming, he just strums aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> so about this wine glass. Ah, oh, so you notice it, pal. You know, the whole crime scene was a mess, but the glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe. No, actually, but uh, Ms. Von Carmen noticed it first. Yeah, Pearls noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around, man. You're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the 1,000 meter dash. Mm. Oh God. Wait, we need to clarify. Am I a Van, Van Carmen now? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. What? What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. <laughs> Is it like a, re a proximity thing? I thought that he would know about it and he set it up so that yeah. he knew yeah. he knows when she's coming, but he doesn't seem to know about it. Yeah. So like, I, I'm so I'm a little confused. I, I want that to I want to know more about that. I think she just yeah. has a pager on her that's always going on. Oh, tell Tom about the Von Karma alarm. Well, I mean, we just kind of explained it. Like, yeah. I, I thought that he set it up, but he didn't. He just he whenever this beeping happens, <laughs> I think it's just her pager because she's such a busy woman. Maybe uh, it's a busy woman. Well, maybe she has it on her. Yeah. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened last time. So, so, sorry, gotta make myself scarce later, pal. Oh! Um. <laughs> At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Goody. <laughs> Goody. Would it be too much to ask for you to change or be nice to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very. That's <laughs> very dishonorable of you. Mm. Ow! Hey! Don't you dare run away, Scruffy McTrenchcoat. <laughs> <laughs> I love Scruffy McTrenchcoat. Yeah, all right. Ah. I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. Ah. Detective, come over here for a second. Yeah, oh, 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 gee, oh, jeez, jeez, pal, pal, palita. Oh, <clears throat> he's fucking dead. Hmm. I feel better knowing at least that you were man enough to face your punishment. He was so scared, he just froze up on the spot. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. You, you have soiled my perfect prosecution record. It's not the only thing I've soiled. Mm. I pooped myself I'll earlier. I'll never forgive that or forget that. Eh, this time, one. victory is mine. Victory is yours. Is that all this means to you? What? Come, Scruffy. The investigation <laughs> briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ooh. Ow! What did she throw at me now? Ooh! What is this? Well, I guess this means we've got to. I've got to get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to Criminal Affairs Department. All right. Oh, and if you, uh, try not to let Ms. Von Karma see you. Scruffy! <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, so... Oh, whoa, uh, oh, do I have to grab it? Oh, I, I have to grab it. I, I didn't what? see it there until the last second. Ah. Um, that is a large... 
Uh, well, it's, it's really funny. Um, uh, in Love Live, they had them. Like, uh, they were asking for autographs, and they Mr. gave Nick. them this, this big square, like, piece of paper. And I, I think that maybe it's, like, better for, like, Japanese-style names with the kanji and stuff. Perhaps. I don't know. What is this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Auto draft. The paper's got Mr. Karita's name right on it, so it's his autograph. Mm. I can't read it at all. To be honest, it looks like it says Leon. I've never seen writing that looks like this. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Huh. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Oh. Look here. See how it says, to my dearest Wendy, in the normal letters there. Th this sloppy, unreadable... <laughs> this, this sloppy, unreadable writing. It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone. Oh, my God, that's so cute. <laughs> Hold on. Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. Wendy Old Bag. What? No, that's wrong. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It goes to Will. 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 And then the feminine form of Will is Wendy. Wendy. I don't know yeah. how you don't follow this logic. I know. Yeah. It's like the feminine version of a dog is a cat. Yeah, exactly. Right? And a feminine version we can of give a dog her, is we, we, we can give her something, can't we? Oh, no. No. Huh? I guess we could present her with her own camera, but that's not a good idea. Let's go through this stuff. No, I, I did it. I did it anyway. She just talked about how much she hated losing it. Uh But good old Wendy. I love like Wendy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Later, good dope. Later. Um. Ba, ba. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna try presenting it to her first. I'm probably gonna lose it when I do the thing. Um. Mm. I wonder why Von Karma would throw that at us, though. I'm very odd. Mm-hmm. I don't mm. have anything to say. I don't like. Please, anybody be helpful? Well, then, how about my measurements? Mm, 15. I know, I know. 32. Magatama time. I wonder, I wonder if this is the right one. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I definitely think that this is this is the right thing to this, but there's four uh, locks, and I don't yeah. think we have all four. No, we can get one out of the way, though. What you witnessed. All right, I'll be honest. No. All right, no. I'll give you what you want. Take that! Take that! That's Juan's that's autograph! Yes, it is. And, and it even says, to my dearest Wendy on it. That, that's me, right? Right? Um... My name's Wendy Obeg, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy, but somehow, I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, oh please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. I don't um, know what happened to your voice um, uh, I can't let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. Then how about an exchange? I hope all four locks just break off on this. That'd be really great. Ah. Uh, oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow, she must really want this autograph. <laughs> I only got three. <laughs> Math isn't good enough for you? Fine, you win, Mr. Wright. Bang! Oh my Wendy god. Wendy Obeg, ready to open her heart. All for my dearest Juan. Ah, oh, there it is! The Juan and only! Totally called it. <laughs> That's so funny. Autograph given to Wendy, dearest. That's hilarious. That's gold. That's gold. Really good. No. She really wanted it. Yeah, really, really. The first really time anything it. like that's ever happened. I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. You're kidding. Oh, no. It was about 10 minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the little girl's room minding my own business. And did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it. <clears throat> Maybe more. Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that part in the, at the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. This time, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. On Guard, Mr. On Guard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. I know in my, uh, I know what he did to my poor Juan. I just do. That yellow belly chicken. A uh, yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. 
I know when someone did something bad, and I say he did it. What did Mr. On Guard ever do to, de er, to her to deserve this? On Guard's past. What did Mr. On Guard do to you to make you so... Like, how did he hurt you? Mm. Why are you like this? Mm. You don't know. That guy, he framed my wand. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Mr. Mick. What, what is it? What's a scandal? Is it anything like a sandal? Oh, <laughs> um, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Poor Juan, led astray by the wiles of that vile temptress. Mr. Nick, what do files and wild temptress mean? Ah, uh, um, how about we just listen to what old Miss Old Egg has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, Miss Old Bag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy, he shoved the girl onto one on purpose. His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart. Just to create a scandal, make Juan lose faith. That girl drove Juan into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know so much about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. No, oh, she's receiving emails from the real Juan as we speak. Mm. Mm. And do you have proof that Mr. On Guard did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Ugh, of course, a tabloid. Mm. Next week? Does that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? And where did she get it? Tee hee hee. Hmm. Hmm. So do you think we go right to uh, Adrian Andrews with the tabloid? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. No, to see Gumshoe. To see Gumshoe, remember? See Gumshoe? No, 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 no. That yes. is to see Gumshoe. Should we see Gumshoe? No. Yeah, okay, but we can. I think we can break off some well, of her psyche we're... logs. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, we'll know what we're looking for a little more, I think. Maybe it'll break all of them. Anything goes apparently <laughs> these days. Who knows? I think that she's the one that you'd need like five pieces of evidence yeah. to break one. Yeah. The finale boss, if you will. Boom, 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 boom. Take that! Take that! Oof, so many locks. Hmm. Oh my god, what if what if she breaks character here? It was so great. I really wanted to break character. Put ya! Take that! Hey, Simon Steel TV. You and Mr. Corita had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you, have any, if you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems like quite a few people have already bought into this story. Hmm. As expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. Damn. Note to self, stay on her good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Mr. Karita? As if there was ever such a need. Didn't you get close with Mr. Karita for this person's sake? Ooh. Uh, her client. Her, her client, client, yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, her client, Francisca von Karma. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Do you really still not understand? Oh, this feels bad. What? What? It's not in my nature to enjoy doing things for others. But, 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 but you're a manager. It's called a job. I'm in charge of Mr. Ongard, the star, not Matt Ongard, the man. Uh, oh, here it comes. And you're not my client. Oh. Is this my subtle hint to go home? But I know you must have had a need to get close to the victim. Me? Need to get close to Mr. Corita? As if there was ever such a need. What? Who else could it be? Maybe we don't know them yet. Maybe it's for Juan's sake. Oh, God. You get close to Juan for Juan's sake? <gasps> oh, doing something for herself. So that makes sense. Like, oh, or, oh no, wait, pick herself. Okay, I'm going to do it. And then I'm saving after that. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> a woman who seems to have it all together. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel bad. 
Ouch. Ouch. I'll be excusing myself. Ouch. Well, it couldn't be Will. Why would it be Will? Ah, uh, so save. Who else save. Could it be? This feels bad. All right. Oh, a Fradian slip? A Fradian. A Fradian. Justice for all. Very well, my turnabout. Mm -hmm. From Save Point. Okay, so who <sighs> said like that she was doing it? Will said it, right? Yeah, Will said that she was doing it. And then Old Bag. No, and then oh. Maybe Old Bag said that she was trying to. to the... Yeah, I'll talk to Gum. We can talk to Gum Yeah. Feels Damn. bad, man. Going to the hotel lobby. Freudian. Freudian. I might have to change Old Bag's voice. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I it told hurts. you, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Bag is a. It's a dangerous voice to do. It is. You gotta find yourself a nice, uh, not in your. You can't like collapse. You gotta find it somewhat different. Yeah. You know? Maybe you should be. Old oh bag. my god. I could, yeah. Hmm. You it gotta be look more like smoker. Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. I could do old bag. I'll yeah, do old bag. You be old bag. I'll be old bag. Great. Now even Pearls is calling him Scruffy. Thanks, um. Francisca. They said something about an investigation briefing earlier, right? Why don't we come back and try later when they're done? Okay. I guess that's all we can do, right, Mr. Nick? Damn. While we're here, though. Man, Blue Badger, I still get nightmares about that. Mm. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. I'm trying to spit it out, and you low-life scumbag. <laughs> A turkey sandwich. Don't eat that every day. Get sick of it or something. He must be doing image training for interrogations. Mm -hmm. This must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? The hero of heroes award ceremony? The grand prize got away from the gem and ninja again? Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Do, 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 Holy do, crap, do, someone do, mentioned do, turkey sandwiches do, in a freaking Phoenix do, Wright game. It wasn't pork chop sandwiches, though. Those are my favorite sandwiches. Pork chop sandwiches. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, where's Gumshoe? He's in the briefing, didn't you? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. Aw, it's kind of cute. Mr. Nick, what is this stuffed animal's name? That's the Blue Badger. Oh, it was my idea. I made it. I, it's the precinct's mascot, you know? Oh, wow. I'll get him assigned mascot of every police station if it's the last thing I do. I hope you succeed in your mission, sir. Oh. Yeah. A poster of a female police officer. Wait. No, that's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. And Man, it's that, gumshoe. That would be such a scandal these days. Be like, oh my god, the police are objectifying women. Women? Well, yeah, but then there's always the uh, firefighter calendars. Right? And there's the rowers calendars as well. Rowers calendars? Rowers? Oh man, rowers are fit. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do the upper body drink to row? And there is something quite attractive about like women in uniform. Anyone mm -hmm. in uniform. Anyone uniform, in uniform. Uniform. That's like, true. Anyone in uniform. Oh, yeah. That's why I go to McDonald's Definitely. all the time. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> mm, those visors, though. Lots of extra mayo. They got some nice mm. buns, I tell I you. Really what. Like, I really like how the, the bill of the hat protects their lights, mm. or yeah. their, 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 their eyes, eyes from, from, the, the, light. from yeah. the lights, and you can mm. still see their hair on the top. Yeah. yeah. Really good look. Yeah, it's a good one. Visors. <laughs> yeah, I remember the 90s. You know what? Let's actually see what Matt has to say about this. Oh, nice. What do you know about this article? <laughs> You're talking about her with Juan? I, I always thought she was a bit careless in the way she handled it. And that's it? That's it. Yeah. Oh, what? He just confirmed that there's a thing with Juan. Ah. <sighs> Oh, maybe you could actually be like you She's want to get protecting close. Juan. Oh, it's possible, possible. Yeah, that's that's, that's he, really he's... the only other option that mm. makes any an ounce of sense. Yeah. Even though it's obviously wrong, should have been for 
Well, liquid cynicism, you're right. Uh, uh, rowing is a lot of lower body because you're using your uh, legs because they're the biggest muscle group. But shoulders, yeah, 100% yeah, 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 shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back, shoulders, back, shoulders, Shoulder back, shoulders, back, legs. Yeah, I, I always good, thought rowing is a, a good, back exercise. Yeah. It's a good body, like full yeah. body, because you got your legs, arms, and back. Yeah, yeah. Push. yeah the rowing machines, like I, I I, don't know where I heard or if it's accurate, but I have it in my memory that someone yeah, said, if you're going to buy best. one machine, you yeah. buy a rowing machine. Because it does or, everything. Because it does everything, yeah. Mm. We should buy a rowing machine. We buy a rowing machine. Just get rid of that. Elliptical no. by a rowing machine. I, like I use the elliptical. Well, can we flip it to a rowing machine? I would use that. I, why would we use both? But we, we can't fit go, both. We could just run. That's we could just go said. for jogs. Ew. We could do and jogs. Look how wrong she was. <laughs> you are not wrong. I have seen many a documentary. A hundred percent shoulders is the title of my new guide for how to spend <laughs> your alone time. One hundred percent shoulders. I would read that book. Hmm. Nope. Oh, wrong room. I think I think we got a yeah no I think we got a lot of because Dioing Dioing is saying this day sure this this day of court sure has a lot of locks, mm -hmm. but we can keep doing this yeah let's oh I guess no but we haven't found our camera though I'm sure. I'm doing this first okay uh, I'm gonna die and that's fine yeah. okay let's see what happens let's see what happens a lot of locks oh a double rowboat <clears throat> okay. Motive for murder. Okay. Wait, um, highly magazine. doubt that, but damn, magazine yeah. clipping. Take that! You're doing the boop, ba doop, ba doop, and then doubling it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and are you using Juan? Uh, we're doing it for Juan's sake. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. Didn't you get close to Mr. Corita for Mr. Corita's sake? <laughs> Ooh, no, it's wrong. That was not the Juan. Mm. All right, all right, load. We didn't save just before this, did we? I did. We well, did? before the precinct. Ah, oh, damn. Before the precinct. Whatever. Yeah. Go well, back that's to fine. Save? There was nothing in the precinct. Oh, oh yeah, there really wasn't. Yes. Is that... Oh, that's, that's, Will, oh, that's Will Powers and uh, Penny. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. And the Steel Samurai head. Oh. <laughs> Maya falling Perfect. down. Nice. So cute. I wonder if I can, I can scroll this. Oh, look at it. It's Maya. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. And, and Phoenix with magnifying glasses on a murder uh, scene. Oh, and Gumshoe and, and the puppy with missile. Pearl, Pearl with a ball. Oh, oh, Pearl with a ball. And Francisca and, with, uh, with and Gumshoe with a whip. That's good. Oh, and look, and then and on the bottom, it's got Phoenix and Miles, and Maya's uh, the judge. That's funny. No, on the no, she's witches. on the witness stand. Oh, she's on the witness stand. <gasps> obviously, that's where she always is. <laughs> Bail. I like that theme. Bow, bow. Upside down. When is the backstage tour stream again? Should be around 6 30 p.m. So in about four yeah. and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. From Save Point. From Swap. So what are we going to do? Oh, God. We're going to go talk to Lada and just present her own camera at her or something. Why does it make any sense? Maybe she doesn't didn't lose it at all, and it w has been around her neck yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And she's so just... I, I wish give, her the give her the Magatama. Give her the Magatama. Take that! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what, let's see what happens here. Only two. Big scoop. <laughs> Wait, oh, scandal. An unfolding scandal between Juan Carita and this person. Oh, this oh. person? Wait, no. You what oh, are you no. doing? <laughs> I think either one works, like logically. Okay. Who the no. heck is that? Um. Oh. No, because. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It makes no sense. Yeah, hey, fine. between this person, here's a nar nah. I was just, I was just said I'm doing. You just got excited. Like you just got a little excited, is all. No, I just, I, I decided to show that. This woman, she's Adrian Andrews, Matt on guard's manager. The mm. Nickel Samurai's manager caught his secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Ninja. Mm. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? You're pretty good at this guessing thing, lawyer. But you can't make up any old thing and think it'll be my papers. You gotta have a backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have that, that, that was it, uh, new sauce? 
Um, I think you mean news source. That's it. So show me something that showed that Huang guy had something with Miss Andrews. Man, no. we're like a real journalist regurgitating news. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Sourcing unsourced news sources as our sources. Yeah. Mm. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. Uh, uh, Mr. Corita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. On Guard's manager, Adrian Andrews, both start with the initials A.A. A. Therefore, one can only conclude that they're an ace attorney. She was seeing an asshole. An asshole. You saw this article, and then you thought you'd take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were lurking around Mr. Corita's door last night. Ma. Oh, baby. Give me that health. Give me that health. That Miss A.A. A. God, she's an ace attorney, too. Nice. Almost full. But we'll get that back. It's a win. We'll get that back. Big scoop. You were looking into Mr. Corita and Miss Andrew's affair, weren't you? You got it. I was going to get myself a scoop by catching him in a secret meeting. But there's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. It's not, it's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Her initials are AA. What kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are going to want to see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh. I'm going to whip up the reader's interest with some gossip and a little misleading. <laughs> then spice it up a little and have an exclusive story. Wow, Lotta. Nice journalistic integrity you got there. Honestly, it's really good. I already cool. finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But the paper I wrote it on, the note to myself, it's gone. Your note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off with it together. I came here to get a big story. I didn't come here to have my treasure disappear on me. It, yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell you. Well, what's with people nowadays? Never thought I'd see the day when someone done steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? I've got no idea why, though. The story on that note is probably a bold-faced lie. There's the note. Hmm. Oh, no. I did not want that. But what do we do now, though? Dun, hmm. dun, 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 dun. Oh, do you think it's one of those situations where we go back into a room and now it's suddenly there? Maybe. Now mm. that we know about it? Mm. Makes sense. Well, I mean, it would make sense for it to be Mr. Corita's room. And no one's there now. That's it. Right no, that's, well, it's certainly a camera. What? It's like a handheld camera. It's not a case, though. Mm. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, uh, the... the yeah, I know. Same, same. <laughs> the name you write in this note Other will be side? awkwardly tickled in the next 60 seconds. <laughs> the tickle note. The tickle note. <laughs> ah, Mr. Nick, it's so Go sad. for this name. All right. So I guess that's that. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Different room. Wait. No, no, that's not. Bum, 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 I kicked, I kicked bum, my chair. Bum, 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 Where's Waldo? That's the only places other than the lobby, though. Yeah, I think, I think the lobby makes the most sense. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's, Let's all go, go to the lobby. lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Yeah, we don't have a camera case. <laughs> okay, well, we went two directions with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Why are you looking for the camera? You ain't no detective. I think we should go to the police office now. Yeah, 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 that's fair. All right. Those are some awesome hints, Dion. Yeah. Now we finally go here, right? Right. Nice. 
Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Oh, uh, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. But, but, we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. Hmm. So, what do you mean the evidence is airtight? Can't give you all the details, pal, but there are two big pieces. T two? And both of them are in this photo. First, the button is missing from the victim's chest. Hmm, that's the button that you found during your body search of Mr. On Guard. Yep, I found in the folds of Nickel Samurai's special pants. Ooh, special pants. I always, uh, yeah, whenever I yeah. go out, I show the mm -hmm. ladies my special pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not my regular pants, I'll tell you that much. No. The special pants have something special in them. Yeah, glitter. Uh, um, uh, and the second one is... The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. Fingerprints? Um, whose are they? You didn't even have to ask, little missy. It's obvious. They missed the map on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Is that what's also in your pants? Your special pants? So, what about this airtight Inside testimony? <laughs> well, both the rock and the hard place are contained within my special pants, yeah. yes. It's that uh, old security lady, Ms. Old Bag. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? Did she tell you something, Bell? Um, well... And I even told her not to open that mouth of hers and blab anyone. Her blab knob is stuck on 10, and there's no turning <laughs> it down. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, well, Ms. Old Bag saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. Engard come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! If I've got leaking in bow here or the bracing, my neck's gonna be on the ringer, pal. Your neck? No. Well, I mean, my neck is a joke. But yeah, ask me what things they have to do with the case, all right, pal? Hmm. Hmm. Don't you might love gossip. Hmm. hmm. We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. The scandal with Mr. Karita, but why? Well, two years ago, a woman, oh my god, that was an abrupt image, uh, commit suicide. Suicide? Her name was Celeste and Pax. Celeste and Pax. And she was Juan Carita's manager. Oh. The victim's manager? That's not all, pal. Mrs. Impax was Ms. Adrian Andrews' mentor. She taught Ms. Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. Her mentor? A woman who was both Mr. Carita's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. Could her suicide have something to do with this case? You want to know more about her, pal? Mm, yeah. Man, that's not a talking point. I don't know what mm -hmm. is. She was the victim's manager, also Ms. Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now uh, those two are linked again by another death. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. Oh, wow, oh, jeez. Hey, hi there. Thanks for subscribing. I'm getting sick of dealing the w with one foolish idiot after another. Oh, Miss Von Karma. You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? I don't need a traitor in my midst. No, don't fire him. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't mean... I do, Scruffy. You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You're no longer needed. Goodbye. No! Th that that's... Wait, wait, sir, please. Quiet. You better get this month's pale star. If it weren't for traitors like you... I would have won. Is that what you were going to say? A little Bambina? Who? A little Bambina. That voice! It's Edge oh! oh! What? Edgeworth! 
That's you, Clay. I know. I was wondering about that. Oh, God. It's been a long time, Mr. Wright. Mm hmm. This, this person. This is Mr. Edgeworth? Holy shit. What am I going to do with you? Still <sighs> blaming others when things go wrong? You haven't changed a bit, Francisca. Ooh, is that a new Ooh. smug face? That's mm. a super new That's smug face. That's a new face. smug face. Super yeah. new. Also, new music, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. You. you. How dare different. you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it? Oh, there's no shame in that smug face. Mm -mm. You've soiled the Von Karman name, dragged it through the mud. You even <laughs> ran away with your tail between the legs like an ill-bred, like the ill-bred dog you are. Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed to be perfect in every way? Then let's hear it, Francisca. How are <laughs> things going? Jeez. Oh, I hear you're having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You! You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Keep your assumptions to yourself. I... I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never! Mr. Phoenix Wright, I will see you tomorrow in court. And it will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. Oof. <laughs> Still the same wild mare she's always been. Mare? I think it's mare. Mare? Wild mare? Damn! Wild horses! Mare? Mare. Yeah, yeah. The mare down there? The mare down there. Proof of uncommon blood. Ooh, tomorrow's trial. I, I thought you, the prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. <gasps> Mr. Nick! I. I never wanted to see you again. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen for a year. <laughs> Are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. So, no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, not to mention one-sided. Aww, Aww. That's nice. <laughs> but... I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. What is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is the definition of teamwork. <laughs> and teamwork <laughs> is the definition of working as a team. <laughs> what is, is it's the, the power to find the truth. And so mushy right now. This is, is the mushy. essence of beauty. <laughs> The truth! In order to understand this case, you will have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. Just what is going on inside his head? <laughs> a lot of things may have happened. However, Manfred von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of a von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? To think that your motivation for prosecuting trials was so selfish. It'd be better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. I see. Then let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Why stand in court? You're being kind of an asshole, Mr. Nick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, with Francisca, she always stays. Or st says, I sorry. will defeat you this time. The instant oh. she sees me. Sorry, I was, I was just like, blah, blah, blah. The instant she sees me. Take that. My bad. But... The courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client. To save their lives. To save your client, you say? Those who think only of their own ego-driven goals. Those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible to me. Even if you're a prodigy. Or someone like you, Edgeworth. Hmm. 
It looks like you still have a lot you have yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn? Me? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see is coming soon enough. I'm so happy he's back. <laughs> I like that he's not mad at us. Like Aww. He loves us and we're mad at him and he's going to get on our good side. Oh, man, I love this. You've seen this camera, please. We really need please, this camera. Please, camera. Cool. Mm -hmm. No evidence. Interesting talking about evidence. Mm. Mm. What about people, then? What about yourself? A gifted prosecutor. Ooh. Oh, hmm. This woman is another key to solving this case. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago, but she was suddenly called away by a different show and became Juan Cordia's manager. And then, a few months later, Celestine Pax died. But her death was ruled a suicide, right? Yes. But there's still one riddle we've yet to solve. A riddle? Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. A suicide note that just vanished, huh? Adrian Andrews. She holds a large secret within herself. A secret? You can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around her. Ooh, interesting. Why not? We are looking into leads. We can only look into a few key players within our limited resources. There's no reason for us to waste our energy investigating this person. <laughs> Smugface.jpg. <laughs> Why don't you just tell it to me straight and say, I don't have any info. <laughs> so do you think we go back to Adrian and show her her sister? Probably, yeah. yeah. Friend? Uh, well, it was uh, a bro. Mentor? And, uh, Celestin Pax is select... Uh, Lestin Pax, rest in peace. Oh, interesting. Mm. Huh. Oh, because... Ceres. That's or that's in pass. If you it, if if you make the Japanese LR thing, mm -hmm. it'd be RIP mm -hmm. instead of LIP. Oh. So rest. Mm -hmm. While I was abroad, these deplorable types of actors became popular. I take it. Mm. Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is his motto. Refreshing and what's so refreshing about a spring breeze? Sounds like the pollen is not treating him well this year. <laughs> There's an interesting rumor about this man. You mean the one about Miss Andrews getting close to him? Well, that's pretty common tabloid fare, isn't it? I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. Ooh. I gotta do it. Aww. Nothing to say. Aww. Aww. It's your friend oh boy. Well, that's probably really important. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bye, Edgeworth! Bye, Edgeworth! Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Oh. Oh! New talk option. Damn it. Well, oh. Oh. Man, I understand why they have the, the map system like they do. Yeah. But it'd be nice if it was different. Yeah, I understand <laughs> why it exists, but it sucks for these things. Miss mm -hmm. Impact's death was most certainly a suicide. Of that, there is no mistake. However, we cannot find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. The suicide note? But how do you know Miss Impact's e had such a note written? There is no solid evidence. However, we did find traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. But who would hide such a thing? The police think it was Mr. Juan Corita himself. Mm. The victim? Mm. Goodness. He was, he was the one who found her body, which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Corita had his own manager's suicide note, but why? As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. It's the suicide report. Part one, anyway. Part one. Suicide report. Now we have all the ammunition we need. And we're going 
to the place that we were going before, but with more ammunition. Because we need something along those lines. <laughs> Present the suicide note back to Edgeworth. It's dumb, but it is required. What? Uh, part one. Damn it. Go back for more ammunition. <laughs> Go back for more ammunition. Because <laughs> we need it. <laughs> Edgeworth is a weird guy. <laughs> Well, it should have just continued to the conversation. No, because you need to get part two from him as well, I guess. I don't like the... I don't like the... I don't like to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Hmm. Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. That was a really roundabout way of saying that sentence. <laughs> it has more than one part. Less than three. It has two. Two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more than one. Don't forget. More than one. More than one. Two parts. What you just handed me is the first part of the report. <laughs> Could you imagine the that conversation? I just handed you. <laughs> this is part one of the report. What you handed me is part one, one of the report. report. Uh, here There's is part two one parts. and two of this report. Uh, here's it's, the second part. It's outdated. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hand you part one. Yes, and then you hand me back part mm -hmm. one, and I will hand you both part one and part two. two. Mm, yes, this is how the exchange must occur. But why are yes. we doing it this way? <laughs> Who knows? It's what's required. <laughs> it is. It is the way things are. <laughs> Do not question it. The second part of a report is about an attempted suicide. The attempter's name is Adrian Andrews. M Miss Andrews? What did she do? She. She tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try and kill herself. Though, you think she's a strong career woman? That's just what she wants you to think. Oh. Adrian Andrews, she has a certain secret she's always trying to hide. Oh. A secret? Oh. Her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the inside. Mm. Miss Andrews, dependent. Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. Okay, that really makes his like, you can tell deep down underneath that she really does hate herself. Like, a lot more impactful. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my God, I just I I, I didn't I didn't click with you for a second, but <laughs> the fog. Yeah, she's breathing. She's breathing into the helmet, <laughs> and the fog is oh, happening. That's, that's so funny. Like breathing heavily. Why yeah. everyone's always breathing so heavily? <laughs> Goodness. Corita. No. Yes. On God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Looks like Miss Andrews isn't here. You bitch. That's not good. I still have a few questions I want to ask her. And she has that psy lock on her heart, right? Psyche. Psyche lock. Okay. Sorry. Well, we don't have much of a choice. I guess we'll have to come back later. Hmm. Interesting. 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 I think psy lock is the next man, isn't she? <laughs> Where have we been going now? Is she? I'm looking. I'm looking for a new text. I think that we have to talk to Edgeworth again, based on. <laughs> yeah, Edgeworth has another talk option. Let me guess. Part God three. Damn it. There was a part three I didn't tell you about. <laughs> I fucking hate it. It was a secret, but I first needed you to hand part one and two back to me. <gasps> no. God damn it. <laughs> What's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent this? nature? Miss Andrews' attempted suicide was a few days after the death of Celestine Pax. <laughs> Go back for more ammunition! <laughs> From Edgeworth! Because we fucked it up and left too early! A couple of times before! But we're doing it for the comedic value! But we keep doing this all! <laughs> <laughs> we thought we did exhaust all options twice. Mr. Wright, why do you keep walking away in the middle of our conversations? <laughs> <laughs> like, can you just imagine having a conversation with someone and they just keep going, oh, I'm right they, back. And oh, they yeah. leave and then they come back. And Wait, I'm missing okay. something. <laughs> okay, I didn't have everything. Okay. <laughs> thanks to Yoing. At least, thanks. at least they took, they took Miss Andrews away so you can't fuck it up <laughs> thinking you <laughs> have all the facts. Yeah. Like I was going to. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? 
because she has apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? Her pillar of strength, her mentor, Celeste Impax, was gone forever. That's why. Hmm. Why would that? Inappropriate question that's kind of just a curiosity. I'm not sure if anyone knows. Mm -hmm. What's with the taking off of the shoes before mm. suicide? I'm not mm. sure. It's a thing that happens often, though. Right. Yeah. I, like, I, I just genuinely don't know why, but mm. I, I've, I've, I've heard it's a thing. Yeah. Is this what they call following someone to the grave? Oh. After mm -hmm. her attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. That's healthy. Mm, that's very healthy. She's someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. And that's... That's the nature of her dependency on others. When Celeste Bax suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. Hmm. Then, that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. Hmm. How terrible. Ah, oh, part three. Awesome. <laughs> and then don't you dare leave here. No, I'm, I'm presenting every single piece of evidence here, including this badge. I have no interest in talking about useless things. You dick. Stuck up as ever, jackass. Appearances can be deceiving. It's such a cliche saying, but it's a cliche because it's true. Miss Andrews, to think that behind that unwavering brave front, she's been hiding this weakness and fear. Uh, this is a Japan thing. You leave your shoes uh, when you enter the house. The fact that you left your shoes pointed towards uh, a ledge means that you've gone that way. Uh, also interpreted as entering the afterlife. No, oh. because mm, yeah, like it's a uh, like Japanese homes have that very specific shoe place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't you dare walk in with your shoes. Oof, oof. Okay. Well, I mean, we don't wear. I'm shoes leaving in you. Gotta leave inside. Edgeworth with all the ammunition, or so we think. But if I have to go back, I'll scream. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, Miss Andrews is here. Convenient. And it looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francisca von Karma. Miss Von Karma, mm. what are you doing here? Um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so... You've got some nerve following me around. Well, who could help with that ass, though? I mean, following you. Th that's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Aw, pearls. You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. Aww. Aww. Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting. Oh, there it is. Little girl. <laughs> what, what is that? It's a, dra a Dragon Ball detector, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to summon Shenlong and wish back my father. Oh. <laughs> it totally looks like a Dragon Ball detector. An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective, and with this... I know that fool's every move. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews. Yes. Think hard about we just what we just discussed. Understood? Uh, all right. What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Hmm. <laughs> that, that that's illegal, right? I don't know. Apparently, apparently, uh, Van, Francisca von Karma is above the law mm -hmm. in many regards. <clears throat> All right. You know what? I'm really confident about this. I think we got the whole thing down. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, for sure. I think that we have every piece of information we need, and we'll be able to execute this perfectly. Perfect. There's no reason I think that we would possibly fail. No. no. Certainly not. You safe though, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, don't okay. worry.
Leo is here. Alright, motive for murder. Motive for murder. Killing for murder. So we gotta start off with the uh art tabloid. Yeah, art articulars. Okay. Did you okay, not? We good. We good. Silly yeah. third rate tabloid. It's okay. a lie. Silly. But you did it for someone's sake, didn't you? And that was your former mentor, Celeste Impact, age deceased. Hmm. It's not an age. Celeste in oh, Celeste sorry. Impacts, your mentor. How do you know about Celeste? Ooh, first one. How okay. do you know about Celeste? That's Miss Impax, she committed suicide, didn't she? A little aggressive. But it looks like no one knows why. Oh. Right before her death, she was Juan Corita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Corita so you could find out more about her suicide. You, you have a great imagination. Uh, everyone tells us that. I think mm. it's true. I think so. You may have a future as a slimy mud rack. <laughs> Muck? Muckraker for Muck a future third-rate tabloid. M M Miss Andrews? There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It'd be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease w with the way her suicide was resolved. Okay, oh crap. And this now is... we throw, because you killed yourself almost. Mm, mm. I don't know about that. I okay. think that might be next. Hold on. I don't believe you were complete. Oh, yeah, no, that does make sense. Attempt her, Adrian Andrews. Uh, shock from Celeste impact suicide. I don't yeah. think uh, you were completely at ease. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, makes yeah. sense. No, maybe. I don't know. Well, of course you don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I think it, it, it makes sense. Was her suicide note hidden? Nah, no. Like, I mean, they both kind of work, but this one seems to be More better. work. More good. In oh, do God. It. Yeah, please, please don't hurt me. Get a hold of yourself. Huh? If you want advice on doing yourself in, I suggest uh, asking no. someone like the police. <laughs> wow. 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 That was, that's really savage. Yeah. Man. Which translates to, go take a walk off a long... <laughs> a go long take a long walk, walk off, off a short, short pier. pier. There was no mystery surrounding her death, none. It'd be pointless. Yeah. I thought so. Take that! Ah, mm. damn. Miss Impact's suicide note was never mm. found, was it? It looks like the police were under suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Corita. Juan? No, I think it's a hard J. J Juan? <laughs> Juan? I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Juana? And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Mr. Corita. Oof. Man, Corita's kind of a scumbag for I've doing sat that. I've quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know her suicide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's the impression you like to give. However, mm. I don't think that's who you really are. I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste impacts with someone very special to yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Now part This two. guitar case. Yeah. <laughs> Take that! Miss Andrews, you... You nearly went through with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? Taking a long walk off a short pier. Into Ending sharks. her life. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, relying only on yourself. Yeah, I, I've always been very independent, ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie, a facade. You've always searched out people on whom you can depend on. The kindness of strangers, I think it is. <laughs> That's... You were dependent on Miss Impax, weren't you? Which is why... When she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! Bang! Oh, damn it. I don't know what the next one is. When Celeste passed away so suddenly, like that, I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police su uh, suspected Mr. Corita of hiding Miss Impax's note. You heard about it, and you thought to recover it by getting close to him. Am I right? 
If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic did we start on this, uh, this conversation on again? It was, why was the victim killed? Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with the reason to want Mr. Corita dead. Mm -hmm. Miss Impacts was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? Ooh, Ooh we got it! Ooh. Please, full health, please, full health, please, full health, please, full health. Yeah. Still close, close enough. Close. Still close. Close enough. Yep. Well, I guess we're all done here. We should probably go back to Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. Oh God, I want to give her a hug. I'm physically small and I don't have a lot of self-confidence. Does it say how tall she is? I don't think so. Oh, damn. Cannon? What, like five foot two? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Five foot. I pushed against it. all that though. I, I tried to live strongly. I never Ooh. wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews. This one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to take with you to the grave. Oh, I know. It's the I one thing know. I wanted to take with me to the grave. I'm sorry. I, it's okay. I, every time it happens, I have to do it. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like a... You don't know why. Yeah, I know. One it doesn't thing. even matter how hard you right, try. There's one thing. <clears throat> I think it's there's one thing. There's one it thing. It was my secret. Mine. No, I think... Mine it, alone. This one thing. It just starts. No, it's just one thing. She's five foot four. Mm. She's G five foot four? GD fact. Nice. Oh, and wildcard too. I'm I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Yeah. N no. Please, Miss Andrews. All I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had, had hidden her suicide suicide note. That. <clears throat> and that someone was Mr. Juan Corita. Celeste, without her. Without her, I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Corita to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like that tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. Mm. But, as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so. I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep that a secret. Uh-uh, I'm blowing this thing wide open in court, I promise you that much. Miss Andrews. If, if people found out about my weakness, I... I would sooner choose to die than live. Hmm. Uh, uh, all right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret unless we really need to use it, in which case we will and then suffer the consequences maybe. But anyways, let's that's, that's not think about that. Miss Andrews, I guess she's the overthinking type. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Mm -hmm. Unlike a certain Thank someone I know. Phoenix. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a while back. That card? Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Uh, Conch. Oh, this. I don't quite know. I, I, it just suddenly appeared in my handbag. <laughs> ah. You know, it'd be really great. It'd just be to have like a bunch of cards with a slow poke on them. Ah, yeah. And if anyone just like doesn't get the joke or is like really late to the party, mm. just be like, you've earned this. <laughs> Give it to someone else, Man, and just, just like one of those like ooh, chain mail pay it forward like a pay things. it forward thing. Yeah. But for mm. and you're you're stuck with the slow poke shame until you can pass it off to someone else. Ooh, that's good. We, we should, should have that for the that. stream. Yeah, just like a nut button. See, the thing about the slow poke card is we would probably have to use one every single stream. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm gonna start waking you up five minutes earlier than normal because I've realized that's all you need. Just five extra minutes, and we'd be here on time. 
but then maybe I would spend five extra minutes doing something else. Well, then we like setting up a third microphone or something. Maybe, yeah, instead of <laughs> ten minutes earlier. Like, you know? Yeah, then maybe I would spend ten minutes doing something else, like my beard. Then fifteen minutes earlier. Maybe then all of a sudden you're up at seven a.m. Like sleeping in. No, no, no. <laughs> Try to That's sleep what it looks like, doesn't it? Covers and I lights honestly on. don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remembering something clearly. Sounds like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable hands. Now what? I guess we gotta move and talk to somebody. Aww. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all, and hasn't and has been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no. I I'm okay, really. Uh, I'm fine. I really am. Oh, Cheeriest eight-year-old I ever met. You don't look fine to me. Who left Nick in charge of a child? Why do I have the feeling like our office is going to be wrecked when we get back? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Hmm. Please don't be trashed. I hope Charlie's okay. Oh, thank God. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing. I don't know why. But Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impact's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Clever girl. Ah, oh, Mr. Nick, the transceiver. Hello? Writing co uh, law offices. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone. Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Phew. Which is why I suppose she is absolutely famished. Ha 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 ha! Nikki's husband's standing a few feet away oh. from me, looking menacingly in red! Aww. What? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. <laughs> At any cost, wouldn't you agree? Wait, Maya, let me hear her! Very well. Ask, Ask my... mine. Oh, shit. Alright, there you go. Okay. Uh, I've got a beard hair in my mouth. Attractive. Maya, is that you? Sis, ask my sis. Maya, Maya, damn it, he cut me off. Mystic Maya said, ask my sis, didn't she? Sis, what does she mean by that? <laughs> Who's gonna be Mia? Uh, well, I guess you can. I don't mind. <laughs> Come I, on, I, I didn't really give it any, any You're special. You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry? Ha! Ah! <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> Mia! I have a message from Maya, so come, ask me anything you want about her. Oh, Ooh, do I we do it or do we keep next stream? I think we should keep next stream. This has already been uh, 2 hours 45 minutes. Yeah. Very long stream. I was hoping we get to the to the trial, but I, I guess we can start it off with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's something. A pity titty. A titty pity. A Anime titty titties. Titty pity. Not titty the gun. Boom! Titty. Got the boob lust. How oh, even? Legitimately cheat once more. Those Allegally. boobs are like barely covered while she's in an eight year old's clothing thing. It's not gonna fit. Well, you're just lucky you didn't rip. That's We're okay. all lucky the whole We can start it off with Maya and uh, Mia next time because I feel like Mia is gonna get drop some knowledge and that's uh, Tuesday, Tuesday at 12 yep. p.m. Yep. But that is changing soon. Neandroid, hit the new schedule. Yes, sir, sir. Wait, okay, new great. schedule. Your head's in the way. I'm gonna... So, so uh, it's Sunday to Monday right now, but we're gonna we're gonna be changing it's it. It's already but... updated. If you go into the Discord server, yeah. Whoop. Game one is uh, Ace Attorney, and so Ace Attorney's gonna be happening uh, Thursday to Sunday, um, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be happening. And I guess I guess we're actually gonna start that not on March first. Um, because March first is the I middle got, of the week. I got a calendar video. I got a calendar video for you. Boom. So, what do you mean? Do what? Like, you mean March third? March fifth. Uh, uh, March fourth, I guess, would be fifth. the right day to start. No fifth. That. No fifth. Because that'd be the Monday. Fifth. Fifth. Would be the Monday. But that doesn't make any sense, actually. The calendar is going Monday to Sunday. Uh, so we have we. It, it 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 doesn't exactly matter. Um, the Monday. 
If we started on Sunday, then it would be w the one day off. It'd be weird. Yeah, but if we if we started on if we started on Sun if we started on Monday, then that's Saturday or we do Phoenix Wright Saturday, and that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with no, no Phoenix Wright. Ah, uh, so it is, nay. So, <clears throat> I guess we should technically yes, Ace Attorney's Game One. We should start this next Monday. Twenty sixth, you mean? Twenty sixth, yeah. You mean in a couple days? Yeah. Well, either way, either, any any week we started on, it's gonna happen like that. Yeah. What's community oh, yeah. sponsor stream? Yep, Burb, you got it. Yeah, you know. Oh, what? um, yes, 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 yes. Friday, Friday uh, is uh, gonna be community. Well, just, you wanna start early? Two, two we days, might do Sundays uh, as well. Two days early. Turn on the twenty eighth or twenty sixth. Start right now. New schedule starting on the twenty sixth. Uh, Morgus, Morgus is just a thing that uh. Damn it, Clay, what's the third game? We don't know yet. Some people have wanted us to finish Celeste. We'll see about that, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, um... Sorry, Miss Steve. Okay, bye! <coughs> uh, you can keep that. It's fine. Enemy okay, Titty hi. Police? Who is that? Um... Yeah, we'll see about that. What's the third game? I'll figure that out. But yeah, um, just as it sounds, community is going to be more uh, like Mario Kart and games you can play together. Mm -hmm. uh, meme stream is exactly what it sounds like, and those will also be anime streams uh, as we do that. IRL or guest, um, we're going to try and get out more out in the world. It's going to be a lot of fun doing some stuff. We might also bring some of uh, some friendlies in for some good old Mario Party and stuff like that. Yeah. Anime watch is happening right after the stream as well, mm -hmm. starting in 12 minutes to be exact. So I got to get some food really quick, and then we're going to start watching Citrus, Darling in the Bronx, and Nanatsu. Soon, the Tizai I, I, are seven deadly sins. There's I, also I, a calendar for that in the announcements. There's also a calendar for that in the announcements in the anime club through Discord if you'd like to do that. Boom! Cool. Thanks, Lily. Uh, so we'll see you all in 12 minutes in the anime club and then always keep track with our Twitter and Discord so you can find out exactly when things go updated. Clay's mm -hmm. really active on uh, updating servers and stream stuff in Discord. So be in there. Cool? Yep. See you in 12 minutes? To the anime stream! Bye! Bye. Anime watch! Bye!